Wow. Okay. <laughs> What's up? It's been a while, huh? Can't remember the last time I uh, <laughs> streamed on YouTube. Holy shit. I've done a few little streams on Twitch uh, every now and then. But uh, YouTube, yeah, man. We haven't really done this in a while, have we? How's it going? How's everyone doing? So, uh, we're doing some Minecraft. That's right. Uh, we're doing modded Minecraft. It's going to be hardcore as fuck. Because, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm all about the hardcore life. And uh, we're doing this mod pack. It's called Enigmatica 2 Expert. I've been playing this a lot uh, in my free time. Uh, I've just been playing it all the time with my friend. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be good. Uh, unfortunately, my world that I was doing, uh, I was doing a series. Some of you may know this because some of you did watch it. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I'm on a new PC now. And uh, yeah, I lost the world. So there's that. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, I, I do apologize. I'm a little bit nervous. It's been like a million fucking years since I last streamed, so uh, I, I need to just get a little bit into it. We're gonna go hardcore. Um, yep, all of this stuff looks good. Let's go hardcore as fuck, because you know that's that's the thing. Uh, and we're gonna try and survive. That's the plan. This mod pack's awesome. Uh, there's a lot of progression and stuff. Uh, there's like quests and shit, and uh, yeah, man, it's it's really cool. <laughs> You're gonna die on the first day, hey man. I don't think so. It's gonna be good. Your mic is muted. I think. Oh my god, I actually thought that I thought you were being legit for a second. I had to check. I was like, fuck, I've been talking to myself for like the last five minutes. Yeah. How is everything? Like, how how is the uh, the the stuff? Well, well, we'll see in a second. Like the sound. Oh my god. Okay, looks like we're in. Look at this. Alright. Let me know if like the mic's too loud or the uh the the game's too loud or <laughs> anything. I, I I I'm sorry, like I've been um yeah, I haven't set up my stream properly in like a long time, so I'm not muted. There is sound. There's sound, right? There's sound, right? Tell me I'm being trolled. Fuck off. This there is sound. It's not muted. What do you mean there's no sound? Why is everyone saying- Oh my god. This is bullshit. Everything's great? Okay, there we go. As At least some of you can hear me. I'm being trolled. Why the fuck are we in the snow? What is this shit? <laughs> this is like the worst spawn ever. There's like nothing- Oh, there's a polar bear. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's good. Um, Okay, so we're, we're here. So check this out, right? We got this uh, quest book. And there's a whole bunch of things that we have to do. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things. Lots of, lots and lots of progression. Uh, we want to get to this stuff, the creative stuff, the bragging rights quest. This is like, super advanced though. Like, really, really advanced. There is sound, there's no sound. This is ridiculous. Like, the trolling is just off the charts. Can't believe it. I mean, I can. I expected this. Alright, so, uh, welcome to Enigmatica 2 Expert. This mod pack is designed to challenge the player through various means, especially harder recipes. I advise you all to make crafting of as much as possible, as early as possible. Things are going to get complicated, you see? So, uh, we're just going to get this little reward here. We're going to get some stuff. There we go. Look at that. Uh, quest complete. Look at my, my skin. Yeah. It's great, right? Looks just like me. Except not at all like me. What is the blue bar on the top? That is uh, my little stream bar. <laughs> I've got like an overlay. Uh, like the donation stuff is meant to appear there. I can probably turn that off. Hang on. Because there's nothing, nothing actually there. Let me uh, turn off the little uh, overlay if I can figure out how. Is it like this? How the fuck do you do it? Hang on. Like this? There we go. That gets rid of the bar. We'll maybe turn it back on later, but um, for now, we don't really need it. Supposed to be doing work, but instead I'm watching Wilson here. Well, you know what? Why don't you do multitask, huh? Never thought about that. Uh, so... We're gonna try and get started here. I mean, we're in a really shit spawn. Like, look at this. It's like nothing. <laughs> it's just mountains and and cold. We want to try and get out of here. We want to try and get some food ASAP as well. If we want to try and survive and try not to fall down here, ravine. Stream is freezing. Is it? Is it actually lagging? Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> well, okay. That now my game is frozen. Oh, what's going on? Oh, no, it's back. Okay, we're all good. Where is Rust? Hey, man, Rust will be videos. 
I'm not about streaming Rust, honestly. I've done it in the past. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, what is that? Oh, this just all broke. I'll take some of this. Is it like... Apparently, if stream freezes, you have to restart it? Okay. I, I don't know what's going on there. I really don't. We can grab these and we can get like a few bits of food and stuff. Oh, man. I need to turn my render distance down. I turned it up because I took the thumbnail. Like, I took a screenshot. I'm just getting like a... There we go. That's much better. It's much, much smoother now. It's... I don't know. It might not. It might be on like your end if it's lagging. I don't know. Some people are saying it's fine. If it's fine for some people, it can't be on my end, right? All right. Well, we're gonna try and get out of the snow. That's kind of my first objective, I think. We've got this stuff. We've got oats, rye, raspberry, and uh, we've got some leather. There's also some some cows and a bull. So uh, yeah, that's something, right? I think we can pick them up. Look. Okay. I don't think I can. Wait, I think there's a control that lets you pick them up. I think it's like carry. Oh, right shift. No, it should be left shift, right? And then I can just... No? I can't pick them up? Okay. I know there's a way you can like pick up the cows. <laughs> like you can just lift them in your hand and you can pick them up. It's kind of cool. You don't need to keep the book on you? Yeah, I've got a hotkey for it. Uh, in fact, yeah, you're right. I'll throw it away. Fuck you, book. Take that. What mod pack? Uh, it's called Enigmatica 2 Expert. I do have a couple of extra mods installed. Nothing too uh, over the top. Just a few little cool things that make it a little bit more fun. Like, I don't know if you can tell. The footstep sounds and stuff are different. There's a mod called uh, Dynamic Surroundings, which uh, does that. Your cursor is, cursor is not centered on what you're hovering over in menus. Really? Is it not? Oh, yeah, you're right. I can see that. Ooh, that's weird. Hang on. Let me just uh, see if I can fix that. Uh, oh, maybe it's like this. Oh, no, that just makes the whole thing bigger. Oh, fuck. Um, hang on. <laughs> Let me see if I can, uh, fit to screen. Nope, that doesn't fix it, does it? <laughs> oh, shit. What have I done? Oh, fuck. Hang on. Let, let me, uh, let me try and fix this, boys. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna try and get it back to what it was. I fucked it. This, this is all your fault. Whoever told me to, to fix it. Look at it. It's all fucked. Reset? Can I reset it? Nope. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, that's the overlay. I'm doing the wrong thing. No wonder. Hang on. Reset. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the cursor, though. Yeah, the cursor is actually off. I don't think there's any easy way to fix that. How long have I been hardcoring for, my man? Not very long. I've literally just started. Uh, my game sound is not muted. Look. Oh, is it? No, it's not right. You can hear that. Get wood and get a pick. Oh, yeah. So, actually, in this mod pack, vanilla tools, you cannot make them. Uh, well, you can, but they're shit. You need to make Tinker's Construct tools. I'll show you how you do that if you don't already know. Hey, looks like we're actually kind of out of the snow. Let's go this way. I want to try and get out of the snow before it gets dark, preferably. Because, uh, yeah, uh, there's, like, no... It's just, like, mob central out here because there's just, like, so much land for them to spawn on. It's crazy. Oh, shit. I fell in the water. It's a good thing there's no, like, um, cold damage, right? Otherwise, I'd be dead. All right. Man, this is such a shit spawn. Look at this. It's terrible. Uh, okay. Whatever. Where's Rust? Hey, man, I uploaded a Rust video yesterday. <laughs> We're not gonna... I'm not gonna stream Rust. I don't like streaming Rust. My problem with streaming Rust is, like... You spend all this time doing shit, and 99% of the time, you get raided, like, after a stream. It's just pointless. For me, I prefer doing videos on Rust, because I can kind of... I can play, and then upload it, and then I don't have to worry about people, like, stream sniping or whatever, you know? This is way better for me to stream, because I can just chill. I don't have to worry about people running up, screaming at me, and throwing shit at me, you know? Like, I don't have to worry about it. There is, like, a waterfall down there. I can hear it. It's really loud freeze again oh man i don't know i think it might be on your end honestly uh because i think it's fine for some people people saying if it if it's lagging restart the stream like reload um should we go into this like little forest over here like this little uh woodland area this could be good right what the fuck was that you hear that it was like someone vaping in the background i don't know what that was i want i kind of want to hit one of these trees over here so this mod pack you actually do have a, a vein miner like check this out if i uh hold down my button. You see that? Both the logs go. 
It actually does use hunger though, so you gotta be kind of careful with it. Okay. So we're gonna get a little bit of wood here. Not too much. I don't want to hit these big trees because that's gonna just drain my hunger. There we go. So just gonna get a little bit of wood, enough to make like a uh, a few tool stations and stuff, like the basics. Because we're gonna want to get a tool. And we also want to probably make a backpack with this stuff. We've got like a wooden frame and some tanned leather, so... We want to make a backpack. I've been playing this mod pack quite a lot, um, like in my free time. It's really fun. Like the progression, there's a lot to it. And, uh, you know, maybe we can keep this up. We can just keep this series going for a while as like a stream series, you know? That could be fun. Probably rent a, my uh, a server for the mod pack because it gets really heavy on your PC. Yeah, you're right. Well, I'll tell you what, if it gets really heavy, I can just transfer the world, you know? Gets PTSD. Yeah, it's the forest, man. I just keep thinking we're gonna get like wrecked by cannibals in there. So one thing you'll notice right away with the the sort of expert recipes uh, already, it's kind of you like look at this two oak planks per log, which is pretty shit. Like compared to vanilla, right? Same with sticks, two planks, two sticks instead of four. So uh, yeah, recipes in this pack. I'll show you something else actually. Uh, a chest, for example. Look at look at this recipe. You gotta use like all this shit to make a chest. It's crazy. But it's actually really cool when you start getting into like automation and stuff and you automate all the recipes, it's really good. Um, okay, let's get some patterns here. We're making like the Tinker's Construct things. That's like the first thing. I am sorry about the cursor. I know it's fucked. <laughs> I know it's completely fucked. So we're gonna make the different Tinker's things. We've got stencil table, crafting station. Is this a uh, tool station? Hey, what's up, Admiral Waffles? Hey man, uh, we've been trying to actually talk to you in the uh, admin chat on the, uh, the server. If, if you want to like hop in there at some point. Like obviously not now because I'm not there. But um, whenever you're free man, hop in. We want to talk to you. Been playing Engineer's Life mod pack. There's actually like uh, in this mod pack, there's immersive engineering. I've tried them. I don't really like how they look. I kind of prefer the vanilla look. We just need one log here for this. And then we can just go like this. And there we go. So we've got all the uh, the different parts here. We've got the tool station, stencil table, part builder, crafting station. Man, my headset is like really broken. Like it keeps like making weird sounds. I keep, I don't know if it's the game or the headset. I don't know, man. Uh, so we're going to want to start off by getting a stencil table, right? So this is how you make tools in this pack. You want to select a part, so you get a pickaxe head, grab that. You want an axe head and a shovel head. And then we're going to want some tool rods and bindings. So this is how you make tools. So now we get this part builder, right? And we say, oh, actually we need to get some flint. I want to make some flint tools. Let's get some flint from over there real quick. We'll probably like move somewhere. I think according to the map at least, I can see there's like a sort of plains biome up there, which is probably where I'll build. I'm good at this mod. Dude, I've been no lifing this. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. The hardcore mission may be already over, lads. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not ready for nighttime. I've been, like, fucking around, like, throughout the day. Hey, look at that. We completed a quest. Harvest level zero. Oh, no. I'm gonna die, like, within the first, like, ten minutes of the stream. Can you explain some things for the new people? I'll try and explain it as I go, yeah. I will try and explain it. Right now, I'm just gonna get some flint. Because you can make flint tools, which is what I want to do. Oh no, it's going to get super dark. It froze. It doesn't, is it actually freezing? Like, hang on, let me just, uh, it looks good on my end. What was that? Hang on. What was that? Dino donated one pound. I don't want Mr. Wilson to starve. Buy a loaf of bread. I will do that. Thank you very much, Dino. Appreciate it, man. Alright, so what we want to do is check this out, right? We want to make a flint pickaxe head. You can actually make flint like this too. There we go. And we're going to get two of these. There's a little glitch with this. You have to like take it out and put it back in. There we go. Shovel head. And then we're also going to make an axe head. And I'm going to make the bindings and stuff out of wood for the time being. So we'll make three tool rods. And we want to make three bindings too. So throw this down, and now what we do is we can just say, hey, make me a pickaxe. 
So there we go. We've got flint pickaxe. And we can do the same for the other tools here. All right, let's grab these. We're gonna we're gonna move. We're gonna try and get out of this forest because we're gonna probably die. Yeah, this mod pack is sick. It's really fun. Uh, I've been I've literally been no lifing it. <laughs> uh, can you see all right? Like, is it too dark? Should I turn the brightness up? Stream keeps freezing. I don't think so. Look, I'm looking at it on my end. It looks fine. I've got the stream open on another tab. Yeah, the stream the whole stream should be like available like afterwards. I kind of want to be careful here because uh, we have like a tiny bit of armor and that's it. Oh yeah, while we're at it, let's put this down and we're going to just make a backpack with this stuff that we got from the quest. There we go. So now we can store all of these cotton, cauliflowers and all this other stuff <laughs> that we've been picking up, like the random shit. There we go. And that's all in this little backpack now. Um. Oh, I might build here, you know, if we don't die. <laughs> if we don't die like right now. Uh, then I, I might actually try and build here. I mean, it looks like there is a zombie coming this way. I think we can get a quest reward. Look, we can get a netherrack pan from here. There you go. But now we have to kill him with the old hatchet. Sorry, bitch. Sit down. Alright. Let's get a part builder. We're gonna make one more... Do you have any more wood? We do have, like, one log, right? Yep. Let's get this. We're gonna make a frying pan. Frying pan is, like, actually quite a good weapon. Tinker's Construct, yeah, that's the mod that we're doing right now. Tinker's Construct is pretty awesome. Uh, we need to set it to a frying pan. There we go. Netherrack frying pan. This thing is fucking sick. I'll show you it. Hang on, let's go kill someone with it. <laughs> I also should eat this raspberry. There we go. Alright, we're all good. Hey, spider. Hey. Bonk. <laughs> Look at that shit. Oh. Let me see how you see that? You can also just hit them normally with it. Um, but you can just yeet ye them away with it like this. Dunk. Alright. We're gonna try and just survive this night here, really. I, I'm just gonna try and kill some of these mobs as well. Get a few bits and pieces off them. I kind of want to be careful of skeletons, mainly. Skeletons with their arrows are the, probably the biggest threat to me right now. Normal mobs aren't a huge deal. Um, right, let's get this tree while we're at it. I want to get oak wood, because I like oak wood. I don't really like this sort of spruce wood. That is a frozen skeleton. So, uh... Oh, shit, I missed. Bonk. <laughs> you see how that... That's amazing. Uh, are these going to be made into episodes? Probably not. Um, unless I, get, I go through the stream and, um, like, take bits. I don't know. Probably not, though. Oh, man, look at this forest. There's plenty of wood here. Uh, I do want to be careful. There's a lot of mobs in there that I can see. So we can actually get this whole tree in one. Look at that. Ooh. But yeah, you see my my hunger starts going down when I do that. Quest complete. Did you know we have vein miner? Vein miner. Yeah, I did know that actually. I've been using it. Hey, watch this. Oh, he landed in the water. What son of a bitch? Okay. Oh, he's he's fucked. He's fucked. Watch this. Post oh fuck. <laughs> okay, he did hit me. Let's be careful. I I really want to get a sheep so we can skip the night. Um, we're gonna need a few sheep. Let's eat some- can we eat cotton? Wow, you can eat cotton, really? You got a mod list of what mods I have installed? No, but if you, uh, if you have the Twitch launcher, you can actually go on, um, Minecraft mod packs on there, and you can find it. It's called Enigmatica 2 Expert. I'm kind of tempted to build around this little field here, you know? Just like a little house. I should build something. Am I getting jumped by a spider? I thought I was. I thought I could hear it. I think it's under me, actually. There's something under me. Because you can see on the mini-map, there's something red, like, on me. It's not above me, is it? No, it's below me. Hang on, how do I zoom in the mini-map real quick? Uh, zoom in. There you go. Lucas Names uh, donated uh, $1.99. He said, love that you're branching out from Rust. Thanks, man. Thing is, I, I'm not going to fully branch out from Rust, but I'm thinking for games like this, streaming it is a nice option, right? I'll keep the people who want Rust happy with Rust videos, uh, and then I can stream other games. But I'll also upload other games as well. So, I don't know, man. Uh, but, yeah, I appreciate the donation, dude. Um, right, should we build a house or should we wait till morning? I don't know. 
What do you think? Invisible spider? Nah, he's under me. He's like un underground. There is a compressed creeper over there. Those are real nightmares to deal with. When you um when you kill them, they explode into like ten more. Uh okay, I kinda want somewhere to store this stuff. You know what, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna just start building a house. I'm gonna turn some of this into planks. We actually have a cool mod as well. It's called Effortless Building. Look at this. So with this, you can do stuff. Stuff like this. Banty donated $2 through Super Chat. Bets on how long you're going to last. Hey, here's the thing. I am a pro. Okay? I'm not going to die. I'm never going to die. It's going to be like... This This is going to last forever. <laughs> I'm probably going to die in like two minutes. But uh, check this out. So I go like this. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Wait. I go like this. And then I can just go like that. Dunk, and it, it builds the whole thing. See that? It's amazing. I kind of want to build it with like logs. Like I want to build like that. See that? It's, see how cool that shit is? It's called effortless building that mod. And it's really cool. And you can do the same thing with other things. Jaxter C 125 You're the bestest Minecraft streamer. Mine man forever. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Jaxter. You, you know it. <laughs> oh, shit. Explode into yeah. Do you want to see? Should we should we do it? Should we should we should we get that compressed creeper? Just just to show you what happens. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna die. Hang on, we have to kill him. We actually have to kill him for him to explode. Just make sure I'm not getting jumped by any more. I'm okay with dealing. There's two of them over here. There's another one I can see on the map. We want to yeet him away before we do it. Oh oh fuck! <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Shit. Okay, that was that was a risky one. I shouldn't be taking risks like this. Oh fuck. Let me eat some stuff. Oh man. Alright. Let's um continue working on our house. I think it's nearly, nearly yeah, it's nearly morning. We are about to get jumped though. Look, we've got zombies incoming. Is that- is that my Twitch following? I think it is. I think I got the Twitch notifications turned on for following. Oh my god. You know, the frying pan is great for keeping them, like, far away from you. It also cooks food as well. Make a streaming announcement on Discord, you knob. Oh, fuck. I <laughs> I mean, I could. I, I could do that. But at the same time, I kind of don't really want to. Because then more people are going to see me die. Mr. Sandman, the cool one, donated two Canadian dollars through Super Chat. I said, can you play more Mortal? I will be, actually. I've been waiting. I was waiting to get my new PC, which I have now got. Uh, to play Mortal, and uh, I will be playing some more on the channel. Okay, I need to I need to fix the. Uh, uh, you know what? We'll, let me give me a second. I'm just gonna fix this because I've got my Twitch things coming through here, which it shouldn't be doing. Uh, hang on. Let me. How do I fix it? Oh no! Everyone's everyone's doing it for the memes now. Look, because I because I'm so stupid. How do I how do I turn it off? Does anyone know? <laughs> oh no! I don't know how to do it. Oh. Uh, Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to leave it on for now. Fuck it. If you want to troll me, troll me. At least I get more followers on Twitch that way, right? Uh, okay. Yep, everyone's everyone's following on Twitch. This is good. This is the plan. Um, right, so should we finish this little house? It's gonna be, we're going to start off with a very basic little room. It's already better than my house I had in my series I was doing, right? Look at this. This mod is just so nice. Doop. You can just build like a whole a whole pillar just like that. And you can actually upgrade your reach. How how big is this? One, two, three, four. So we go one, two, three, four, and then up like that. There we go. It does use the resources, obviously. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, everyone's doing it now. This is good. This is my cunning plan. I'm just gonna build a very basic little room. Just something that we can stay alive in, kinda. This mod pack is Enigmatica 2 Expert. All right, nothing too fancy here. All right, well, thanks for the follows. I appreciate it. Oh, we're gonna have to go for a double door. You know what? I'm just gonna build normally here. 
I do have a shovel, but... Okay. Um, something like this. Good little start at home, right? We'll get a roof on it as well. Let's get a door first. I love how it makes you three doors. It three such an odd number. There we go. It opens both of them at the same time. This is hardcore. Look, we, ha we have one life. I don't know if you can tell by the hearts. I've got like a little resource pack on. Um, this is hardcore. I have one life. If I die, that's it. It's game over, you know? Check that out. All right, nice. So we've got a roof. Nothing too fancy here. Um, probably need to get a bit more wood for the floor. Oh, fucking hell. Everyone's doing it. Can I, can I, can I fix this? Can I fix this? Is the top donation not updating? Oh, it might be, um, it might be that it doesn't show, like, the super chat ones. Because some of them have been through super chats, right? I don't think it shows it. Hang on a sec. Let me just, uh, let me see if I can change this. I'm just going on my Streamlabs dashboard. I want to see if I can just, hang on. Give me a second, boys. I'm just going to try and turn off the, the Twitch alerts because they're just coming in, like, constantly. Uh, how do I turn them off? I think, oh, I think it's on OBS, actually. I'm so, I'm so bad at this. Follows, there we go. Okay, I think that should, should be, be stopping now. Okay. Let's, uh, no, nope, it's still coming. Maybe, maybe it has to, like, go through the ones that are still coming through. Because it's, like, one after the other. I don't know. I don't know how it works. You can't stop it? I think I can. Believe it or not, I think I can. Can I put the mod pack in the description? Yeah. Give me a sec. I'm going to just dig out this floor and then I'll do that. Because I've had a few people asking. I'm just going to dig this floor away like this. We'll build a little wooden floor here. Just something very basic. We're not going for anything, like, super fancy here. Just to start off. Look at that. We can do the whole floor like that. Oh, this mod is so nice. <laughs> Such a nice mod. Uh, okay. I think I fixed the, uh, the stream things. We're like, we need to get some food. We're, we're actually dying. We can eat these, these bits of food that we've got. Just bits and pieces. These are pretty shit. Realistically, you want to make them into, like, actual meals. But, uh... Uh, hang on. Let me just go back onto there. Anonymously Spoken donated $2 through Super Chat. Thanks very much, Anonymously Spoken. You didn't leave a chat message. You could have left one. You should have left one, man. Appreciate it, though. Um, okay, let's just... For now, I'm just going to store some of this junk in this uh, backpack here. Fiery legs, huh? Burns attackers. It's got very low durability, but we'll maybe hold on to that. Could come in handy. All right, let me um just put the, the mod pack in the description real quick. Uh, expert. I'm just going to put a link to it. There we go. Uh, mod pack. There you go. That should update by itself, I think. Um, so if you want to try this mod pack. Bear in mind, it is quite a time sink. Uh, this mod has, uh, this pack has a lot of stuff in it that you have to get through. It takes a while. Oh, look. We actually get four chests for completing this one. The vein miner quest. There we go. That's good. I was actually thinking we need storage. Um, where do we want to put them? I'm kind of thinking, like... We can't really put that one there, can we? We can't put two double chests next to each other. No. It's alright. We'll put them... We'll put, like, one there, one there. There we go. Um, we'll just dump some of this random shit. Alright, I think we need to, get, need to go get a bit more wood. And, uh, actually, some coal would be nice, too. So we can get some torches. There should be some in this ravine. I'm probably going to fall in here and die at some point, right? It's probably going to be how I die, falling in this ravine. I'll just be like, I'll have like no care in the world. There are some some mobs on the minimap. I don't know where they are. I think they're like underground. I think we've got a huge cave system under us. Uh, so this is appetite. or oh, this is like fertilizer you can use this for. So I'm not going to bother with this. I don't actually think I can get it right now. No. Um. So... That's something about this. We have to go through all these harvest levels here, right? This flint pickaxe can barely mine anything. It can just mine copper, I think, and that's it. Um, so getting iron and stuff is actually a little bit further along. We can't get that yet. Um, let's try and get some coal. Look, see, we can't... It says this is not harvestable with this pick. And you cannot make, like, a, a stone pick or anything yet. Well, I mean, we can't make one. Um, you can only make these tinker construct tools. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of work to do. Alright. Uh, 
Postman, donate $10 through Super Chat. I said, cheers, mate. Starbucks on me. Enjoy your videos. Thank you very much, man. And uh, Buffoon Boon donated $1 through Super Chat. He didn't leave a message. Well, thank you very much, man. And Brad Brad Who Dabby donated 10 10 pound and he didn't leave a message. Leave a message, please. I want to I want to read your messages. But I appreciate it all the same. Um oh my god. <laughs> There's lots of them coming in now. Uh Jackster C125 donated 2 pound through super chat. I said Wilson a Minecraft parody featuring Jack coming soon. All right, yeah. It's it's a plan. It's a plan, my dude. All right, there we go. You see that vein miner? The vein miner just gets the whole thing in one. There we go. We can get some torches now. Let's head back. <laughs> it's freezing too much. I think if it's freezing, you should, um, if you restart the stream, it should be fine. That's what people said. I think it's fine. Like, looking at it on my end, there's no, there's no freezing. So, I don't know. It might be your internet, man. Let's get some torches. Let's pop these down inside the house over here. I need to get rid of this. Out front, it's too like close to the door. Ooh. Oh, that's good. An ender lily. Those are actually kind of rare to just get from drops. So just put a few torches in the corners. There is definitely a cave under me. I keep hearing zombies. <sighs> Sorry about that. Just having a drink. Should we plant this? Can we plant this? I think you have to plant it on, um... No, no, you can plant it on, uh, grass. It grows very slowly, but you can get ender pearls from it. So. Am I gonna do TTT again? I, uh, I would love to. Um, but it's not up to me. I, I've been asking, but, um, you know, if they want me, then, uh, they'll, they'll get back to me. So, <laughs> we'll see. I would love to, I'd love to be in, like, every, every single one if I could. But, yeah. We'll see. Alright, let's, um, let's get this copper. Just to start off here. There we go. You see that? Gets the whole thing in one. That's Vein Miner. Um, well, it's called Ore Excavation, I think, in this pack. But, yeah, it gets the whole thing in one, which is really nice. So, we want to get this copper. But, before we do anything, I believe, we need to make a smeltery. And we also need a clay bucket. Um, oh, I cannot read that. But, it donated two, 200... What is that? What is... Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't know that currency. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much. He says, love from Japan, daddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Man, it's it's quite laggy, actually. Like, my, my game is quite laggy. I don't know if it's um because I'm streaming. It probably is, because this usually runs okay. Um, It's not too bad. It's just, like, a bit a bit choppy. It shouldn't be too bad. It's playable. It might be, maybe it is a good idea to, 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 like, move it onto a server. But maybe we'll do that, like, next before next stream. I'll, I'll put it on a server instead. Uh, we actually, yeah, furnaces are not a good idea because you cannot make uh, tools that way. We need to get uh, this thing called a smeltery, um, which uh, is kind of a big furnace thing. And you melt the ores down in that and you can, like, cast them into different things. So, uh, it's yen. Okay, nice. 200 yen. Thank you very much, dude. I do appreciate that. Uh, since you don't have access to iron yet, you'll have to make a clay bucket to get lava. So, we're going to have to make one of these. Very easy. Uh, but let's just get some uh, some clay, and maybe also get like an animal or something, so that we can get some food. So I'm kind of, kind of struggling at the moment with food. There's some some clay right there, yeah. Should we vein mine it? I mean, we've, we're low on hunger. I don't know if it's a good idea. Cause it does it does eat some hunger. Oh, I need to turn that off. Hang on. I think there's a, a thing you can do to turn off like the waterfall sounds because they're really annoying. Um, I think it's this one. A waterfall cut off. There we go. That should should fix it. There we go. Build a boat and go to the oil rig. What's wrong with the mouse? Yeah, man, it's fucked. I don't know what's wrong with it. For some reason, it's like the resolution is like different. Oh, okay. I didn't fix the Twitch thing. <laughs> okay, I don't know then. I don't know. I thought I fixed it, but apparently not. Oh, well. We'll just have to deal with it. Uh, okay. So we've got some clay. Let's take this back. And we're just going to make a clay bucket. We actually probably want to find a village as well. Uh, so we can steal their, their boxes and their furnaces and stuff. Because their furnaces are pretty hard to make in this pack. Um, if I get the furnace recipe up, you'll see. Uh, this one. Look at that. 
You need a uh, compressed cobblestone, stone gears, a piece of coal, and then uh, normal cobblestone. And that's for one furnace. So yeah, it's a bit a bit tricky. So stealing them from villagers is usually the best option. Let's make a couple of these clay buckets. Uh, these break after like one use on lava. They break right away. So there we go. We got that. And we actually get a loot chest from this one, which we can open. And we got some light gray concrete powder. That is absolutely useless to me, but we will uh, we'll store it in there. What we need to do with this uh, unfired bucket is we need to put it in a furnace and cook it. Ah oh, shit. We need to find. A, we still need to find a cow or a sheep. Hang on. Can we make um shears? Like can we make wooden ones? We can't. Ah shit. So we can't really shear a sheep. Okay. Whatever. We're gonna we're gonna just have to man up and face face the night. You know. Cyanide Yeet donated four four dollars ninety nine through super chat. I said I have to go, but I wanted to say I love your content. Uh, before I go, keep being you. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate the kind words and I appreciate the donation as well. Have a good one, dude. Uh, so we need to find a sheep. We do need to find a sheep. Start mining stone and iron. I can't mine iron yet. I need to smelt this copper up in a smeltery. And upgrade to copper tools first. Is there a, a thingy up here? Oops. I set quick replace to on. I think that's the wrong key. I was trying to put, zoom out the map. Hang on. Zoom out. Lucas Names donated one dollar ninety-nine through super chat. He said, "Do you ever plan on playing Minecraft with subs?" Um, no current plans to, but hey, maybe in the future. I never know. Uh, I usually play this game kind of like single player though. I should probably have set a waypoint for my house. Oh well, I'll just remember where, where it is. I've I've got like a good sense of direction. I think this is a ram. This should have wool, right? There's some. Yeah, these are these are sheep. Jackson Fisher donated five dollars to Super Chat. I said, "Hey, Dad." All right, we'll check this out. Jackson, you ready? Sleep it. Oh fuck, he's running away. Wait, we should um, we should eat him with the old. Uh... Check this out. <laughs> you see that? I cooked the meat. There we go. We've got some cooked mutton. Nice. We've got one piece of white wool. We're gonna need a little bit more. There's one here. We we can only really get the white ones, right? Hang on. Come back, you bitch. I think we have to yeet him with it. There we go. <laughs> Tobias donated five pounds. He said, going to get the cargo ship. Absolutely. I just need to find the ocean. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll get the cargo ship. And uh, Josh he Heffley donated £12.29. He said, love the content. I appreciate that, Josh. Thank you very much, dude. Okay, that, that zombie's got a lot of health, actually. He's got some pretty OP armor. Um, right, we need one more white sheep. I don't think we can... I don't think we can do it with that one. We could actually also kill a couple of spiders and get some string. And then we could just make the wool. Should we kill these cows over here, too? Look, these cows are, like, just chilling here. Maybe kill them. Then we can get some more food. Get out of here, cow. Oh, it didn't cook it. This is prime beef. That's a very good... Very good for hunger. Okay, let's try and avoid these these mobs. I don't really want to fight them, especially not skeletons. I'm really just looking for a village at the moment, so I'd like to uh, steal some stuff from it. I think. Does anyone like when Wilson it says "bitch"? Oh my god, what is that? What is that? Oh my god, I'm getting. Oh shit. Okay, let's run back home. Oh my god, it's, it's like throwing stuff at me. <laughs> oh god, there's loads of skeletons. Okay, this is bad. Let's just uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just run past all of these. We're going to try and get back home. I think this is a bit too dangerous right now. Shit. It's creepers. Spiders. Fuck you, creeper. Okay. I don't think he's coming for me. I think we're good. <sighs> Fuck you, ram. If only you had like a different color wool, we'd be, we'd be like perfect. Wait, can we do it with bone meal? Can you... I know you can dye them, right? If we, um... Can we dye him white and then shear him? Or kill him? Fuck. We need to kill these dudes first. Let's just eat this food so we're ready. <gasps> Get out of here. Oh no, I'm in the water. Oh no, this is bad. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh no. You feel comfortable ha handling the uh, flint shovel. Nice. Let's get these berries too. Can you dye the, the sheep with uh, bone meal? Nah, you can't. Fuck. 
It's annoying. I know you can with like other dyes. You can like dye them a different color. We need like three pieces of white wool to make a bed, I think. Or, well, the same color wool. That's a skeleton. Oh, fuck. I don't want to fight him. Not without any ranged weapon. Let's just run. I'm going to run back to my house like the bitch I am. I might have enough string to make the wool. Ow. I think we're good. Oh, I did walk into the wrong neighborhood. You're right. Whew. Okay, nice. Uh, do we have any more string? We don't have any. I thought we had some. I thought we killed a spider before. So we don't have enough to make the, uh, the one piece of wool we need for a bed. I am sorry about the cursor again. Uh, there's n I, I don't know how to fix it. Let me, let me give it a quick check. Let me just try something real quick and I'll see if I can fix it. The problem is like the, the capture thing. Like if I do that, that makes it full screen and then the cursor is in the right spot, but then it makes it go off the screen. Like the, the actual image. I don't know why it does that. I'm not sure. Uh, let me try and fix it now. <laughs> so I fucked it up again. Uh, reset. If I do stretch to screen, nope. Or if I do fit to screen, nope. None of that works. Reset transform. I don't know why it's doing that. It's weird. It's so weird. I can uh, do this force scaling. What does that do? That makes everything disappear. Nope. Wait, is that right? No, that's not right, is it? My earphones keep making these weird, like, crackling noises. I don't know why. I think they're fucked. It's really annoying in my ear. Alright, well, uh, we've got a few things. We're going to need to find a village and get a furnace, because I don't want to craft one myself. Should be morning soon, I think. Someone donated 100 bucks, really? No. Oh, shit, no, someone did. So, so, uh, Psycho Meth, uh, donated a hundred Z, Z, Zar. I don't, I don't know what that is, what currency that is. And he said, hello, Van, uh, Swede Africa. Thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Psycho Meth, I do appreciate that. I'm sorry I missed it. I was, like, in a bit of a pickle, I think, with the old, uh, the old zombies and shit. Um, right. Look, let's, um, as soon as it's morning, I want to go find this sheep. The zombie did drop pants, you're right. I think I left it, though. I don't really want to take their armor, because I can't repair it. That's the problem. At least with this leather armor, we can kind of repair it as we go. There's some prime beef. This is really good if you cook it, prime beef. Really, really good. We've got some cooked mutton, though, which is good for the time being, too. We still need to smelt this copper. We're going to need to get a smeltery for that. And uh, to make a smeltery, we have to get all of this stuff. Um, so we need to get, like, seared bricks... Uh, which you get by cooking grout, which is made with clay, gravel, and sand. And that's how you make a smell tree. So that's kind of like our next actual step, um, is we're going to try and get some grout and cook it. I do read chat. I, 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 there's just so many messages, I can't read everything. I do look at the chat, like... I kind of tempted to go out and just try and kill two spiders and get the string. There's a couple of spiders around there. Let's see if we can go get them. Get out of here, bitch. I'm trying to avoid those zombies for now. I just want this spider. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we got it. We got the two string. We're good. Let's go. We can make a piece of wool now. Why is there a mouse? Is there a mouse on the screen? Nah, it's not, is there? I don't think there is. I think there only is if I do that. Yeah. There's a mouse on the screen. The mouse is fucked, though. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Uh, we actually don't have any wood now, though. Let's go get some of that. And we'll make ourselves a bed, and then we can just kind of sleep through the night. Should be good. I need to build a bridge across this ravine, I think. Nice. Leveling up the, the flint hatchet here. Is always good. Get all these big trees as well. There's plenty of wood. Some people might think um, vein mining the trees is overpowered, but honestly, uh, in this pack, you need to take any shortcuts you can get. 
because uh, there's so much shit to do in this pack that, yeah, you'd be you'd be there forever if you're doing it all like manually there. Um, okay, nice. Let's get a bed. Perfect. Should we make it red as well? Get out of my house. They should be burning. Yep, they're starting to burn, kind of. This guy's not, though. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you not burning? There we go. Will this be uploaded as a series or stream highlights? Pro um, maybe stream highlights. I don't know. It depends how good the quality of the stream is. And if and if I think it's editable, um, then I can maybe do it. That is a skeleton wearing nano armor. So I'm going to avoid that way. <laughs> and this is a gilded golem. Ow. He like shot that at me after he was dead. He dropped some gold nuggets. <clears throat> Let's have a drink real quick. I want to make my bed red because uh, I'm like old school and I remember when, when beds were red so I like them to be red all the time now. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, mod pack name is in the description. Okay, nice. We got we got a bed now so we can skip the night. Dreeks had donated £7.25 he said, I want to thank you for your videos. I've had a really hard time the past few weeks and your videos are always uh, 20 minutes of fun in my day. Thank you. Thanks very much, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad I could help. I appreciate, I appreciate the donation and the, the kind words, man. Alright, so... What we're gonna do... Is go on... Oh, there's like tons of sheep here. Like actual sheep. We could've just got these. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and find a village. Wait. Let's, um... I'm gonna mark this area, at least on the map. If you go like this. Uh... We can set a waypoint and we'll say... Home. There we go. So now, we can find our way back. Would I play vanilla Minecraft? Oh my god. Not, nope. <laughs> I am not, I'm not ready to fight any skeletons right now. I don't know, man. Um, I was playing vanilla uh, as a series, but I, I lost my world. I forgot to transfer it to my new PC. Oh my god, it's a hedgehog. What the fuck? Look. Can I get this as a pet? <laughs> Is there, a, is there a way you can do that? Look at him. He's so tiny. He's only got eight health and he's well fed. What have you been eating, you son of a bitch? Holy shit. Oh, is, is he going to sleep? He's sleeping. Oh my god. <laughs> amazing. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Um, we're going to try and find a village. They shouldn't be too, too hard to find, to be honest. Um, I don't want to kill all of the cows that I come across simply because um, I would like to eventually get a couple to farm. Oh wow, this is nearly dead, this hatchet. I'm going to use it to get these pumpkins. I'm not sure what we need these for, but we probably need them at some point, so I might as well grab them. And uh, we will try and get some grout, but yeah, I want to get... We're going to need furnaces, so yeah, that's why I want to find a village first. What kind of mods do I have on? A whole bunch. Uh, there's a mod pack link in the description. Um, you can probably see all the mods there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, there's a probably about, what, how many? There's like, all of these. Look at that. There's too many to count. <laughs> Way too many to count. There's a lot of mods. Uh, I thought that was a village there, but it's just like a bone skeleton thing. Like a bone structure. Uh, kind of want to find a slime island as well. If we find a slime island, we can make... This thing called the slime sling, and you can like go very, very fast, which would be very good for traveling. So far, no sign of a village, but they, they're, they're pretty common, so we should run into one fairly soon. <laughs> you getting D's out here or what? Yeah, man. <laughs> you can breed all animals uh, in Animania. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I need to figure out how to breed the. Oh. Is that a village over there? There is one, look. Perfect. Let's go steal their stuff. <clears throat> Man, my voice always like kind of goes when I'm streaming. I don't know why. It's only when I'm streaming. I think I just talk too much. <laughs> Since I lost my vanilla world, will I be doing a new vanilla series? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I might, might just stream it though. Maybe. 
Okay, we want to try and steal furnaces and stuff from here, so. Let's try and see what they've got. If they have any. Hey, what's up, villagers? How's it going, buds? Oh. It's a pretty shit village, to be fair. There's not much here. I think there will be some furnaces in here. This building. Yeah, look at this. You ain't cool. Get all of these. Vein mine that shit. We can also steal their boxes because they're quite difficult for us to make too. Uh, fuck it. We'll take some stuff. Let's go up here first. We'll see if there's anything else up here. Uh, we could take the bookshelves, but we don't really need them right now. Ooh, take the arrows. I don't have a bow. I'm going to take the, the box. We'll just throw away this stuff. These hoes are useless. <laughs> they are completely useless in this pack because uh, you can't use them. Vanilla tools have like one durability in this pack. So I will take the extra armor though. That could come in handy. We'll throw away that stuff as well. There we go. I'm going to throw away these golden nuggets because they're a bit useless as well. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, let's um grab these chests. Just gonna vein mine them all. I love robbing the villagers, man. I do it all the time. Hey, I got some cobwebs. Can you do anything with those? There's a few things you can do with them, but nothing really that we want to do right now. I will hold on to the wheat. Can we take these hay bales as well? Yep, let's turn them into... How do you make hay bales? Is it four? No. Oh, no, that makes thatch. Um, should we, should we just compress them all into hay bales? We've got, like, crafting tables here, like... Might be a good idea. And that way we're saving a bit of inventory space. There we go. Uh, we'll throw away the extra ones. There we go. So we've got 14 hay bales. That's a fair amount of wheat. So, uh... These hoes are useless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be interpreted, uh... In multiple ways, I suppose. Uh... Is there anything else we want to really get from here? It's a bit of a shit village, to be entirely honest with you. There's not a lot. Is this a... Oh, no. This is a good one. Look. It's jam guy. And look what he has. He has some jams and a small storage crate. These are very good. They're called small. And look how much space they have in them. It's crazy. So we're going to take that. It's good. Okay. I might mark this village just in case we ever want to trade with these guys. Oops. Um, Village. There we go. So if we ever want to come back here and trade with these guys or, you know... Kill them all. We can do that. Look at this guy with his red eyes. It's a druid. Okay. There's also this immersive engineering house here. Like, we can maybe grab this hammer. Alright, fuck it. I think we're good. I think we should head back home. Tough fabric. Yeah, these are pretty useless to me right now. None of this stuff is very useful to me right now. What else in that tower over there? Should we check that out while we're here? There is a slime island in the sky. Really? Oh yeah, you're right. There is. There's two over there. Kind of want to get a rod of elevation. There's like a thing you can get called a rod of elevation. Um, makes it much easier to get to them. So you don't have to like build a big tower to get up there. It's probably going to be a mob spawner in this one, I think. Looking at it. Got some jams. I don't know what these actually... I think they have effects. I'm going to give you, like, different effects. Is there a mob spawner in here? Or is there even a chest in here? Nope. No chest or spawner. Does it go down under? Nope. Seems completely useless, to be honest. Alright, whatever. Um, let's start heading home. And uh, we, yeah, we'll try and use these furnaces to cook us some grout and stuff. There is a slime island near your base in the sky. Alright, I'll bear that in mind. We'll, we'll try and get the, the slime island. Just grab these extra berries. Might as well, right? So you actually have nutrition in this. So uh, you want to try and keep all the different types of food topped up. You get, like, extra hearts. Like, we've already got one extra heart from the different types of food we've been eating. So, uh, if we get, like, different types of food, we can actually get, like, a ton of extra hearts.
What did I miss? Not a lot. I, w I went looking for a, uh, a village and I found one. And I stole all of this stuff. Kind of tempted to steal some of these bone blocks too. Just so we get some bone meal. I've got a hoe on me. No, get out of here. There we go. <laughs> That'll do. It's a lot. We're not going to get all of it. We don't need that much. Should we, um, yeet one of these cows? Oops, that's my f the furnaces I came here for. Alright, Frisian bull. Bunk. But these bulls actually attack you as well. Hey, look at that. We cooked it. Got some steaks. Yeah, this is hardcore mode. So if I die, I'm uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm fucked. Am I going to do astral sorcery? Eventually, yes. Because uh, you actually have to. Look, astral sorcery is one of the things. Uh, this mod pack, what I love about this mod pack, it forces you to do like every mod. You have to do all of them uh, to get anywhere, really. So uh, mods that I wouldn't normally do, I have to do them um, to, to actually progress, which I think is really nice. Like the recipes intertwine all the different mods together, uh, which is really cool. Where did I get the mod from? There's a mod pack. It's on Twitch. It's on the Twitch launcher. Uh, if you check in the description, there's a link to the mod pack. Let's try and get home and sleep before it gets too dark. I want to get the smell tree up and running ASAP. I think that's the plan anyway. What's up, sheep? Don't mind me. I'm just running through. Some apples there on that tree. I don't think I can get them. I don't think they're ripe yet. Uh, right, there's home. Let's go quick. Skip the night. Try and avoid the ravine. Because I know I'm going to fall in it one day. Goes into menu and dies from creeper. That's probably how it's going to end. There we go. Let's have a little sleep. A little nap. Astral Sorcery is a great mod. At some point, you don't need to eat anymore. Yeah, to be honest, like, uh, because I've, I've been playing this pack, like... Um, for fun and me and my friend have been playing it and we haven't quite finished it yet but we've recently started doing some astral sorcery stuff and it's a really really cool mod like the perks and stuff you can get they're very very cool uh, right so we've got six furnaces so we can uh, put those to good use for now let's use it to cook some prime beef and we're gonna be efficient with it and we're gonna make some tiny coal tiny coal smelts one item each so uh, it's pretty efficient when it comes to coal usage there we go uh, we've got an, a manual for a mod. Nice. Let's just dump all of this extra stuff that we've got. Uh, we got this crate here as well, which I want to put somewhere. I don't know where. Let's just put it next to our bed. We can store other stuff in there. We'll get like a proper storage system at some point. Oh yeah, we should probably also cook these, uh, these, uh, unfired buckets. There we go. Can Wilson, can I kiss you on the lips? I don't know, man. Take me on a date first. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, check, check out this. Look at this roast prime beef. It gives you instant health too. It's edible at any time. And look how much it fucking heals. Look how much hunger it gives you. 20 plus or 20 times saturation and all of those hunger. So, uh, yeah, prime beef is very, very good. I don't actually know the uh, like how you get it. It just sometimes drops from cows, like prime food. Uh, so what we need to do, uh, probably repair our tools real quick while we're at it. Oh no, we don't have any flint left, do we? I think we used it all. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go and try and find some gravel, sand, and clay. And we're going to use that to make grout, cook the grout, and get some seared bricks. And then we can use those to make uh, a smeltery, basically. So... That's the plan. So, there should be some clay and stuff down here in this river. Yep, looks like it. Is this clay? This is clay. Get out of here, squid. Hang on, should I kill the squid? Dunk. Got some raw calamari from him. Lovely. Alright. Some sand here. Should we get the sand? Might as well. I'm temp tempted to mine it without using the shovel because, um,. The shovel is just going to get wasted on it. Like, we can do it, like, with vein mining. We can get the whole thing just with a pork chop like this. Uh, and let's eat this food. 
Uh, how much we got? We got 63 gravel. I'm kind of stuck in this corner now. What question of Minecraft is on? Is it, This is on 1.12, I believe. Version 1.12. That's some gravel there, right? Yep. Okay, let's grab that. Got some more flint too. That's good because we're going to want to repair our tools. Well, I've got 33 flint. It's crazy. You please make the live stream a video so I can watch it from the beginning. Yeah, I might do. I might do. Um, no promises. Um, I'll maybe look at it afterwards and see if it's something I can like edit down and uh, make a video from it. But we'll see. Um, it's possible. Wow, I vein mined a lot of sand. Oh wow. Okay, that's good. That's more. Oh wow, look how much sand that is. Holy fuck. <laughs> you need to get a PC for these dope mods, dude. Modded Minecraft is a whole other game. If you haven't played it before, like, holy shit, it's so different from vanilla. Like, this mod pack, you'll see as we go. Right now, it's fairly vanilla, but, yeah, as we get into this more, you'll see some crazy shit. Alright, so we're going to take this back. In fact, we can actually craft it into grout here. Look, so we go clay, gravel, sand, and that gives us two pieces of grout. So we can just, we've got 64, we've got 128. Let's get some more. I'm going to need a fair bit. There we go. Lovely. I need to get some more coal, I think, to cook this, though. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of coal in the base, so... <laughs> no swearing? Oh, come on, Trashy, let me swear. Oh, I like to swear. Please. What would I ever do if I couldn't swear? That'd be awful. I'm gonna cook these in each of these furnaces here. Uh, use some of this extra coal we've got, and then we'll get some more. This isn't going to last very long, but let's go get a bit more. Uh, I'm going to store this extra sand and gravel in here. And also repair my tools. So you to repair a tinker tool, you just put in the tool station with the tool, and it, with the material, and uh, repairs it. There we go. And these tools never truly break. Um, like, when they break, they don't, like, disappear. They just stay as, like, a broken tool, and then you can repair it. Should we get, like, a couple pressure plates here? Just to, like, make the door close behind us when we go out. Like that. There we go. Um, right, so yeah, we're going to get a little bit more coal here. And then, uh, also probably get a bit of lava. We have got these buckets. And that's why I've got them. There's only one one bit of lava there, but we're going to need a, f a little bit to run the smeltery. Because, um, yeah, the smeltery melts down uh, metals and stuff using lava as heat. So that's what we're going to want to get. Let's try and grab that. There we go. So we've got a bucket of lava. Um, and if we find any more, there's some there, actually. We'll grab this, too. Try not to fall in, because then I'll die, and then we'll <laughs> have game over, which is not going to be fun. Let's try and get down to that. The link doesn't work, doesn't let you download the mod pack. Uh, you need to probably open it in the Twitch launcher. You need to download the Twitch launcher. And uh, you can install mod packs via that. That's the way I did it anyway. There might be other ways to do it. Um, okay, there we go. There's some coal down here too. That we'd like to grab. Let's just uh, get down to that. Should we vein mine it? Hang on. We'll vein mine it, but first we're going to go like this. There we go. Lovely. So we have 31 coal. Try and get a little bit more. We also want to probably get a bit more copper. So we can actually cook it. There we go. The more the merrier, right? You cannot make infinite lava sources. Unfortunately. I wish you could. Uh, but there are ways later in the pack to get basically infinite lava. Alright, let's just go across here. I'm going to get some of, this more, some more of this copper and uh, coal. Try not to fall in and die. Seems preferable. Oh my god. So we can't get this iron yet. If you're wondering why I'm not mining it. We literally cannot. What kind of ore is there? I'll show you. Look at this. Ore. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> that doesn't quite work. Um, is it... How do you do it? Is it like... Uh, ore? No. <laughs> 
I don't know how, I don't know the easiest way to search for like a type of ore. Is it like this? Or there we go. Uh yeah, so there's a uh, quite quite a few ores in this pack, to be honest. Some of them are nether ores. Um but yeah, there's a whole bunch. All right, let's take this back. This should be good. Uh we just need to cook the grout now and then uh we should be able to make this smeltery. The infinity tank. You can get an infinity tank, but that's like an end game item. Like, th that's not going to... At that point, we're not going to care about lava anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, we're going to want to probably uh, stock these up. Should we uh, make some more tiny coals? Might as well, right? And then we don't, like, waste any coal by doing that. Uh, we'll probably split some of these as well. Make a few more. Just split these so we're using all the furnaces here. Nice. Works now, thank you. Awesome. Glad to hear it, man. Oops, I think I just bumped my mic. I'm sorry. I was having a little drink. Alright, so we've got a few seared bricks. I'm not going to have quite enough yet, but we might have enough for the bare minimum smeltery. 47. Uh, we need to make all of these things. We actually probably want to get one of these to, like, make some glass. We need some glass. There we go. The mod pack is Enigmatica 2 Expert. It's in the- there's a link to it in the description if you want to check it out yourself. It's a very fun pack. Very time-consuming. So if you, uh, are just looking for something to play, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Alright, so you want to make this tank first. And then we want to make the controller. And we want a drain. We want a faucet. And we want a casting basin. And we're going to want the rest to be bricks, I think. Which is not going to be anywhere near enough, but we've completed the quest. So, let us open this loot box. We're going to get redstone glass, huh? What does that do? How do you make that? You put thickened glass in a resonator. Okay, I don't know what that does. Looks kind of interesting. Can I pick it up? Okay, no, it actually does break. Alright, I don't know what that does, but we've got it. Is diamond still the strongest ore? Nope, it is not. And you actually can't make diamond tools. You can use diamonds to uh, enhance your tools, but you can't actually make tools out of pure diamond in this mod pack. There's way better stuff anyway, though. Uh, we could probably make a bare minimum smeltery with the stuff we've got. I want to make a little bit of a bigger one, though. Oh, that's night time. We'll sleep. Um, something allows you to make quarries and stuff. You can make quarries in this as well. Uh, I think they're a fair bit down the line, though. I kind of want to flatten this out a little bit here. I can probably vein mine it, right? <laughs> Watch this. <Ooh>. Shit. <laughs> Just vein mine like the whole ground. It's alright, we can uh, repair it using this mod. Look. There is a limit to how far you can do it from, but. It makes it much quicker, right? Alright, there we go. And the grass will grow over this and it'll make it a bit nicer looking. And yeah, this broke. So you see that? That's broken now, but it didn't like fully break. Oh no, my ender lily broke. I can't believe it. Let's repair our uh, shovel. Shaders? Nah, dude. I, I actually have got... I have got shaders here, but I've got them off because I don't like how they look. I tried them. I'm not a fan, honestly. I, I might prefer the way it looks like normally. I think they look cool, but it's kind of a novelty thing and it wears off very quickly for me. You might have to get the alloy kiln to get bronze tools to mine iron. Uh, I don't believe so. Um, as far as I know, you can mine iron after you get uh, Certus Quartz, which is like the next thing after copper. You can mine iron with that. But yeah, an alloy kiln, we will probably get that. Like, that is something we'll get fairly soon as well. So we can make some uh, some alloys. Alright, so we probably want to start building this, this smeltery in a second. Should have enough now. 
to make a basic one. It's going to be quite small, but let's grab these different seeds and stuff here as well. And plant these somewhere. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and build this, uh, this smell tree. We're going to probably maybe make it a three by three. Do we want to build it right here? Hang on, I want to kind of think about where I'm going to build this first. Just so I don't place it in a really awkward spot. I need to think where I want to actually build my, like, expand my base to. Because this is a, f this is like, even. The smell tree we're going to be doing is odd. Like, the shape of it. Which is a bit annoying. <laughs> um, I'm kind of tempted to have it, like, come out from here. And then we'll have, like, a path or something. Going over here. And then we'll have the smell tree right about here. So, what we do, we place all these goodies here like this. And then we want Sid tank probably at the back. Controller at the front. And then bricks around here like this. We're going to need a little bit more, I think, in terms of bricks. Yeah, I think we need, like, one more. Um, in fact, I want to get two drains. We'll have, like, two drains. So, uh, we'll just make another drain. Let's get one more drain real quick. Just like this. Uh, we won't make a faucet for this one. Basically, I'll show you what, I'll show you what this thing does in a second. Once it's all good and complete. So, we go like that. Pop the faucet on the drain. And then you put the casting table here like this. And now what you do is you put lava in the, uh, the tank at the back. There we go. It actually breaks the clay buckets. They only have one use. Uh, so we have a little bit of lava in there. And that's what's used to heat uh, anything that we put in here. So we want to put some copper in here. We're only going to put a little bit in um, for the time being. Because we only need like two to make a pickaxe head. And we're going to want some clay. Because we need a clay cast for it. So, this pack does have the Twilight Forest, yes. Uh, so we get some clay. Um, and we need a basic pickaxe head. I'll show you what we're going to do in a second. Where's my uh, casts? They're all in here, right? Oh, here's a good idea, actually. Have I got all those chests on me? Yeah, let's make a... Let's make two chests. Pattern chests. Uh, so what you can do with these is quite nice. Because uh, with this uh, Tinker's Construct mod, you get a lot of these uh, patterns. And uh, then quite easily clog up your inventory. So you put down one of these pattern chests. In fact, it might be better to reorganize this because I'll show you. Hang on. If you put it down next to the part builder, so we move this, put it down here. And then we move this one to here. Then what we can do is uh, we can actually just pop them straight into the pattern chest from here. Or if we're in the part builder... Uh, uh, let me just get some real quick. Some patterns. Where are they? They're in my backpack. So if we do this, right, we put them in here. So we go this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then if we go in the part builder, you can just select it um, from the side there. And then it will automatically put it on there. So uh, we're going to get a pickaxe head. We're just going to make it out of stone since it's pretty cheap. Oops. Just like this. And this is what we're going to use to make a cast. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we'll take this over to here, which we now have some molten copper in, but we're going to get some clay. This is what we're going to use to make the cast. So what we do is you pop the stone pickaxe head in there, like that. And then as soon as this uh, cooks, we can uh, pour it on top of the cast, or on top of the, the pickaxe head and make a cast. That's kind of the plan. A live stream? Yeah, man. I know. <laughs> A faucet more like a tap yeah i would have i would call it a tap too but hey man i just go by what it's called this let me just pour it on there like that check this out it will just uh dry up here now we have a cast so clay casts only have one use and then they break so we're going to pour this copper straight on there like that. And there we go. We've got a copper pickaxe head now. Which we're going to put onto our tool. There we go. Now we have a copper pick. 
Uh, and what you can do with this now is can, we can mine something. Uh, so we can mine like uh, the next level, basically. Um, and also, we do have a quest reward here. What do we want to get? Glass, coal, or grout? Let's get more grout. As much grout as we can get and cook it. You're waiting for Rust all day and you're streaming Pixelcraft? I uploaded Rust yesterday, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to upload. I don't upload twice in a row anyway, you know? I'm not going to stream Rust anyway. I've, I've said this. I don't really enjoy streaming Rust. Rust for me is a video game. Like, well, it is a video game, but it's a game that I, I prefer to make videos on it and not stream it. Whereas with this, I feel like this game's kind of good for streaming. Uh, it's alright for videos too, but I think it's quite a good game to stream. Uh, so we don't really need to smelt this copper just yet. I'm trying to just go through the... Uh, I want to go through the, the different harvest levels, maybe up to this level here, which is, uh, I believe, Cobalt. It's quite, quite a high level, and then we can mine most things. Uh, we just want to get to the point where we can mine most types of blocks, and then uh, I'll be happy. Uh, my inventory management is a bit all over the place at the moment. Um, right, so what we're going to do is just take this pick. We're going to head down and get a bit of Certus Quartz, which is the next tier. We can actually get this appetite. crystal block down there. So we're going to try and just head down to there. Yeah, the stream should be uh, available to rewatch. The mic went quiet for a second. I was probably like catching my breath. I haven't shut up like the whole stream. I just talk non-stop. It's a habit. I, I, I'm always like, whenever I stream, I always just, I don't shut up. <laughs> Which I guess, I mean, it's kind of a good thing, right? That's kind of what people want, I guess, but I, uh, I never know when to, to stop talking. That's my problem, I think. Uh, right, so... I'm gonna grab this Certus uh, Quartz here. There we go. Uh, ten of those. That's more than enough. Let's head up and we'll upgrade to the next tier. Actually, yeah, we, we just need to literally upgrade the tool. I want to get it to, the, to, to a certain level and then I'll be happy. And then we can move on to uh, some of the actual... Like, we'll probably do immersive engineering or something, which is uh, this one. There's a whole bunch of things we need to do in there. Uh, so this one, you don't have to cook in the furnace because it's a crystal. You can uh, just apply it like this. You can just make the, the pickaxe head here. So we can just apply it to the tool like this. I'm actually going to repair it as well. There we go. And we can also get a reward. Should we get a copper hammer or a bow? What do you guys think? Bow, copper hammer, or torches? What do you think is a good idea? Because we've got a bunch of arrows. We could get a bow. Copper hammer can do a 3x3 three three mining. So, what do you guys think I should get? Can we, get we have to choose. Don't all speak at once. <laughs> I think there's a bit of delay on the stream. A little bit. I'm kind of tempted to go for the hammer, but... I don't know. Bow. Hammer. Can you make a sign on the stream saying the mod pack's in the description? I could do, but... Um, you know, people can just look there themselves, right? Bow, you've already got a hammer. Bow, hammer, bow, hammer, 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 hammer. Okay, everyone wants the hammer. Fuck it. <laughs> Wait, do you want... No, everyone wants the... Yep, hammer. Mostly hammer. Yep. Okay, fuck it. We're getting the hammer. There we go. Look at it. Alright, how, how about we go? Uh, we do have this hammer, yeah, but that's a different type. This isn't like a mining hammer. You can't use it to mine. The copper hammer, you use it to mine. So, uh, I'll show you that. Real quick. Alright, well, we've got the hammer. So, look. With this hammer here, we can't... You can't break things with it. It's used for other things. This one, however... Look at this. See what that can do? That's why it's pretty cool. And to be fair, a bow... It's pretty easy to make, whereas this hammer is actually fairly expensive. There's a copper block, two, well, four copper ingots, and these impregnated sticks, which we cannot make yet. We need a carpenter for that, so yeah, we can't actually make those yet, so it's probably a good idea. Um, and actually, we can mine iron now, right? That's the next tier. Yep. Perfect. That's all we need. <laughs> uh, wait, can we get gold? Should we go get some gold? Because then we can make permanent casts. With gold, you can make permanent casts. Um, although I'm tempted to wait until we have, like... Ah, you know what? 
Fuck it, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna try and find a bit of gold. I think we can mine that with this. Does it tell me? I don't know. What do I think of Welland? Welland's awesome, dude. I think Welland's Rust videos are probably the only Rust videos that I am kind of interested in watching. Because he, he does a lot of really, really good editing and he's very good at the game as well. So. Yeah, I don't really watch Rust. I play Rust, but I don't really watch it on YouTube. But if I was watching Rust, I'd probably watch Welland. Impregnated sticks are a pain early on. Yeah, they, they are. We need to get a carpenter to get those. You do want to get them sooner rather than later though, because they're quite useful as well. Alright, well we're in the ravine. I like how this pickaxe is like see-through. Look at it, you can kind of see through it. Uh, oh, there's some more lava there. Let's grab that in our bucket. Try and be careful of mobs down here. We'll keep our frying pan at the ready. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I got it. Is it going to flow onto me, though? It might do. I think we're at gold level. We're at, like, Y level 37 right now. I think that's gold level, right? <laughs> scary Fairy donated five pounds. He said, uh, what Rust server is this? How's it going, Scary? <laughs> Thanks for the fiver. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the, the best Rust server you've ever seen. Get out of here, creeper. This is hardcore, yes. Super hardcore. So if we die, that's it. Is that a, a normal spider or is it a... Uh, cave spider. I think it's a normal one. There is also a skeleton. Shit. Okay, the skeleton seems like he's kind of stuck. So that's a good thing. Good thing. Now we can just... Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! <laughs> Run! Shit. <laughs> this is why I hate fighting skeletons, man. They're OP as fuck. Oh, shit. Jesus. They're fucking me up. I'm Blade donated uh, $4.99 through Super Chat. He said, is this live? Like, is this actually you, Wilson? Said, yes, it is. It's me. Believe it or not. It's no other... None other than me. <laughs> uh, we could probably eat this steak, right? That'll get our, our health way up. Uh, okay. Well, we want to try and get a bit of gold. That's kind of my my thing I'm looking for. Should we try and tackle these skeletons again? Fuck. Oh, he hit the bat. That was a good shot. Okay. I think, I think we're kind of clear. Whew. Man, I, ha I absolutely hate fighting skeletons because we don't have a shield or anything. Okay, no gold so far. We might actually have, a good, have to go a bit further down. I think we're not actually... What level does it spawn? It tells me here, right? Uh, where's the overworld? Overworld. Oh, it's level 30. 30 31 and up. So, we are, yeah, we have to go down a fair bit. Should we use our hammer and build like a little mineshaft thing? Let me grab some of these ores while we're here. Tin. Iron Blade donated another 199 through Super Chat. He said, bro, I'm going to cry. Don't cry, man. <laughs> it's all good. Don't cry. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it. Let's grab some more stuff while we're here. Skeleton has TFU aim. He does, doesn't he? Skeletons are fucking OP, man. They're like the scientists from Rust. Just like hit every shot, you know? I don't want to ruin my tool before I get to gold. I'm kind of mining everything. I should be... Oh, this is where they were. Uh-oh. Okay, got him. I think we're all good. I want to try and get the skeleton. It's quite low on health, the one that's over there. There's two of them. Oh, shit. Try and get this one first in his armor. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, gold. Nice. Oh, there's a creeper here too. Nice. Very good. All 
Alright, are we clear? I think we're kind of clear. Let's uh, grab this. How much? Two pieces? Eh, not great. Not terrible. You never checked out modded Minecraft? Oh my god, man. You're missing out. There's a lot to it. Oh my god, what's that? Orange cave crystal, huh? Wow. Anbu donated five pound. He said, I've been here since 25,000 subs, man. I just want to say congrats on getting where you're at. You deserve it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around for so long. That's a long time. 25k, holy fuck. Yeah, that was probably like two years ago now, right? Thanks very much, dude. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. What are these cave crystals? They look cool. Oh. Jumping. Oh, wow. Look, look at this. Dude, that looks sick. <laughs> oh, I can't get them with my... Oh, no, I can. What can you use them for? Anything? You can use them to make red runes. Not much else. Huh. <laughs> not great, not terrible, just 3.6 Rontgen. Yeah, man. Chernobyl. Good series. If you haven't watched Chernobyl, I highly recommend it. Holy shit, dude. Iron Blade donate $99.99 through Super Chat. I said, dude, I love you so much. Wow, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't expect that. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that, Iron Blade. I love you too, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> Woo. Man, I should stream more often, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Don't know what to say, dude. Thank you very much. My mic might sound different. It's a little bit configured differently because uh, I recently set up a new my new PC. Um, so, yeah, it is configured a bit differently. We have a creeper coming. Uh oh Dude, these cave, cave crystals are sick. And they seem to be a light source, too. Diamond. Can't mine it yet, though. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm going to mark this. I'm just going to put a waypoint here. Cave crystals. There we go. Um, we'll try and find our way back down here. We'll get this diamond when we can mine it. I just want to get the gold so that we can make some casts. This is a cool cave. I like it. It's really cool. Um, how do we get back up without... Do you have to, like, build a tower? We could probably just build a staircase out of dirt. Whew. Okay. Uh, so, the way out should be this way. I, 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 I do this thing. I have, like, a strategy for torches, which is always place them on the right-hand side. So when you're trying to find your way out, you just follow the torches that are on the left. And you'll find your way out. There is a way out out there, but that's not the way I came in, I don't think. I came this way. Yep. Shit. Oh no, I'm gonna go the other way, because there's a skeleton and I don't want to fight him. Let's go this way. Be quick before he comes. He's coming. Oh no. Run away. <laughs> I'm pussying out of that. Fuck that. I'm not, I'm not about that life. Fighting skeletons is just too much. All right, nice. Uh, we're out. Nice. So let's um, we're gonna cook this gold in the smeltery, and then we can make like permanent casts, which we can use. Cause I don't want to make more casts out of uh, clay because it's kind of a waste of clay. Not that clay is that useful. It's just annoying to make them every time. So we only need to make one of each now, and then we can uh, use them as much as we want. So let's get one for a pickaxe. We're gonna get another pickaxe head, and we're gonna make some iron. We could actually make bronze. We got some tin and copper. So we could alloy that into bronze. But, um, we need iron. Well, I don't know. Bronze could do it as well. I think, I think we're just gonna go for iron though, to be honest. I think iron's better anyway. For tools. Alright, so we got some gold. So we're gonna do just, uh, pour that on there. And that'll make us a gold pickaxe cast. Well, pickaxe head cast. Let's sleep as well while we're at it. Casts out of aluminum brass are an alternative too. Yeah, you're right. Or aluminium, as uh, most British people would call it. I always say aluminum. 
it's kind of like the age-old question, isn't it? It's like uh, aluminum. Hang on, merge to nearby chests. That's actually a really good button. It just auto sorts it into the right chest that's near you. Oh, game. Okay, we're back. Kind of froze up on me for a sec there. Uh, okay, that's good. So we got this iron. Let's uh, pour that. There we go. Lovely. So, finally, <laughs> we're going to get an iron pick. There we go. Perfect. Uh, cook these as well in here. So there is something else I'd like to get soon. Um, oh yeah, what can we get for here as well? We can get a, another bucket of lava for free. Let's actually um, just fill up this melt tree with lava. There we go. We're actually just about full. What kind of PC do I use to play Rust? Well, I got a new PC, um, which I just finished setting up the other day. And uh, it's pretty good, honestly. Um, I've got, I think, an RTX... Is it RTX 2080 Ti? I think that's the name of it, the graphics card. Uh, and I'm using a AMD Threadripper CPU. I've got about 64 gigs of RAM on this one. That's about everything I know. I'm pretty bad when it comes to my specs. All right, perfect. So the next thing we're going to want to get is some lead. And maybe we can mine diamond with an iron pick. I don't know. So we need to get some lead or silver. I saw a bunch of that down there. We just couldn't get it while we were down there. Let's get some... Uh, let's get some... Torches. Because we don't have any. Get like a stack. We could just put it on our offhand here. Then we can just like put them down as we go. We also know I play modded Minecraft is truly awesome. Well, thanks, man. You watching it is uh, truly awesome as well. I appreciate it. Appreciate every one of you fine people watching. As I try not to die and uh, <laughs> lose my entire world. I always have to remember it's hardcore. I always forget and I, I'm like ready to like, jump off to my death like that. It's all good though. Is this the way I went in? Yeah, I think so, right? Yep. Alright, let's go back this way. And uh, we're going to try and find our way back into that cave, which is over there. We can actually get this black quartz. Don't know how good that is, though. Grab it anyway, might as well. What can you use black quartz for? If you cook it, it's used for a whole bunch of things. Lamps. Advanced item laser relay. Yeah, there's a bunch of things we can use it for. Might as well just have it just for the sake of it, right? There's some silver. This should get us our quest. Right? Yep. Nice. Let's get some more. A little bit more. And some lead. Might as well. We need lead too. Just getting all the things. Uh, I'm tempted to go get a silver pick now. <laughs> we might as well, right? Um, keep upgrading our pick. Try and get to a high tier. And then we can sort of... Like, we want to get Osmium. That's like the next level, I believe. Past uh, silver. Let's grab a few things while we're on our way out. What's the green stuff on the floor? These are Thorncraft crystals. I have never done Thorncraft, actually. I've never done it. There's one mod that I never did. I've been playing this mod pack with my friend, and he did Thorncraft, so... Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting trying to muddle my way through that one. I've done a lot of the mods in this pack before, but I've never done Thorncraft. I usually shy away from the magic mods. I'm more of a tech mod kind of guy. Try and get up here. We'll try and get like an elevator or something at some point. Gonna take us up and down into the ravine. Or even a ladder. Ladders are pretty fast. <coughs> um, so we wanna just cook a tiny bit of silver. I'm trying to be quite conservative with the amount I'm putting in here, just so we're only putting as much as we need for the next tier. Just uh, merge. Oh, we've got nothing we can merge. Okay. Some fire charges. Fair amount of stuff. Okay. Stormcraft is a pain in the ass. Yeah, I've heard that. Oh, 
It made Electrum. Oh no, we alloyed it. <laughs> Oops. Okay, silver and gold makes Electrum. But that's probably quite good, right? I imagine the height, like, this will have a good harvest level on it, Electrum. Let's take a look. What do we get for with Electrum? Oh, it has, like, no durability, though, does it? Holy fuck. Mining level is higher, but it only has, like, 90 durability. That's shit. Oof. I don't know about that one. No, let's melt that back down. Uh, let's just do the lead. Fuck it, we got the lead right. We can't put more silver in there because it will alloy with the gold, the gold, and it'll make more, um, more electrum. There we go. So we'll smell that lead. One thing I really want to get sooner rather than later is this thing called time in a bottle. And what this does, it's actually fairly cheap. Once we get some diamonds and stuff, we can make this. Um, what it does is having this in your inventory, it collects time. And then you can use that time on machines and things to speed them up. It's very handy. Yeah, gold is soft as fuck, man. It's <laughs> super soft. Uh, that's probably why the Electrum is so bad. Because it's um, an alloy of gold. There we go. Got a lead pick. So... Oh, we can actually get some bronze from, uh... Wait, we should have completed that. Yeah, we completed that. Wait, why does it say it's not complete? What? It says it's complete here. But then it says it's not there. We have some silver in our inventory. That should be complete now, right? No? Why? Can we just claim? Alright, that's weird. Okay, we need to get a little bit more lead then, apparently. It's fine. Um, we're going to we're going back down anyway to get some osmium. Secretly a pro at Minecraft, dude. <laughs> I've been no life in this pack. Honestly, I've been no life in this mod pack like in my free time. So uh, yeah, I've I've I'm quite accustomed to a lot of it right now. Yeah, I did. I, I gave Scary Fairy a donation yesterday. It was quite funny. Her reaction was hilarious. Can you show your mod's name at the game? Uh, it's in the description, the mod pack. Do I have Torturino in this pack? I, what's Torturino? Let me take a look. Torture. Nope. No Torturino in this pack. Is that the one that adds the big torch? Like, the massive one? That, like, lights up or, like, stops mobs spawning? Because, no, I don't think that is in this pack. I've seen that mod. It looks cool. Yoink. Alright, Osmium, there we go. This should get us to our next tier. There we go, lovely. And yeah, we want to get a little bit more lead so we can actually complete that quest. I'm not sure why I wasn't completing. Oh, we can't get this. It's charged Certus Quartz. Amber bearing stone, more charged Certus Quartz. Let's grab some silver. Ah, lead, nice. Right, so we should... Why can we not claim that? What the hell? got two pieces of lead. Why is it broken? It's like completely broken. It says it's completed, but it's not. Is there something I can do to like reset it? I don't know why that's doing that. Let's just get rid of these zombies real quick and then we'll take a look. Oh, he dropped a brain. Hang on. Let's just, um... Is there something I can do to reset the... The quest book? Choose a reward. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm actually stupid. I, uh... <laughs> uh okay, I'm stupid. Wow. Let's get the bronze. Fuck it. We don't have any bronze. Might as well. And we can also get... Let's get an... Ooh... Night Slime Shovel Head or oh, Alumite. I'm gonna go for Night Slime. There we go. We can upgrade our shovel with that. Okay, I'm just kind of dumb. Uh, it was working. I was just uh, I was just being stupid. Um, right, let's head back up. We'll make a the next tier. Admiral Waffles donated one pound. He said a hundred dollars donate. Wilson is rich. Yeah, dude. 
some guy like <laughs> it was uh, I'm Blade. He, he donated to, a couple, to me a couple times, and then he donated a hundred. And he said he loves me, and I said I love him too. It was a very romantic moment, and uh, one that I will cherish for all my life. You know. Big brain time. Yep. Exactly. I'm very smart. <laughs> Oh my, my headset's crackling in my ears again. That's horrible. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, right, so... Alright, next <laughs> next step. Osmium. Sorry, once we get past a couple more tiers, we should be good to go. I just want to get past this part of the mod. Like the uh, going up mining tiers, so we can just mine everything. Alright, uh, so we'll smelt this osmium, and we'll upgrade our pick. Let's upgrade our shovel. I'm gonna put this on here. There we go. Night Slime Shovel has 890 durability, which is, uh, really cool. Very, very cool. We haven't even used this hammer. Everyone was like, hey, get a hammer. I haven't even used it, because <laughs> we've just been kind of walking around in a cave. Alright, so... Osmium. There we go. Hey, what's up, Alice? How's it going? <laughs> Everyone wants my real name. Everyone thinks my real name's Will. It's kind of funny. Alright, so... What is the next thing? Obsidian. Okay. So we're actually kind of kind of done um, with most of these tiers. We're going to go to the nether shortly. Let's actually make a bucket. I want to get some lava. Or, well, actually, I want to get a bit of water, but I want a reusable bucket. Uh, so to make a bucket in this pack, you actually have to use iron plates like this. So you have to, make, you have to use iron ingots to make plates. There we go. And then we can use that to make... Bucket. There we go. Perfect. How do I mine so many blocks at once? What button am I pressing? I'm actually pressing it's um one of my mouse buttons. I've got it bound to one of my mouse buttons. And in this mod pack that uh you can use do a thing called excavate. So if I do it on this tree, watch my hunger at the bottom. You see how it's, it goes off like it takes my hunger a bit? So that's the downside to doing it. You get to mine a bunch of blocks, but uh, it does eat your hunger, so you have to be kind of careful about it. Uh, right, so what's the next step? Oh yeah, I want to get a bit of water so we can make some obsidian. We need to go find a pool of lava somewhere underground. We'll make a bit of obsidian. Probably also get a few diamonds now as well. I think we can do that with this pick. This osmium pick. We could probably grab a couple diamonds and stuff. But yeah, diamonds, you cannot make diamond tools, but you can pop them onto your other tools to make them better, basically. That's the wrong way. It's this way, right? Oh my god, I nearly fell down. That would have been embarrassing. It's gonna happen. One of these days, I'm telling you, my death awaits me at the bottom of this ravine. This is where I'm gonna lose. Ben 10? Exactly. Yeah, that's my real name. I am the real Ben 10. Kind of want to go deeper than this. I want to go back to that cave as well and get the diamonds I saw in there. Let's just do it. Just going to go through and grab these ores. I think it's Vein Miner, well, ore excavation is such a nice mod. So 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 useful, man. Just being able to just do the whole vein in one, you know. You don't. You yeah. You have to worry about your your hunger going down a bit, but it doesn't go down enough that it's like not worth doing it, you know. Just gonna grab a few things. Oh my god, look at that. What is that? It's a sprite. Is that hostile? Oh. 
Can I just... <laughs> oh! Ooh. Okay, that scared the shit out of me, to be honest. Oof. Uh, so I believe the mine, or the cave, is over this way. We're nowhere close when we start seeing those crystals. Let's grab some more iron. I don't want to, like, ruin my pickaxe so too much. Because we're going to need the durability. It's this way, right? Yep. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, here we are. Can we get the emeralds too? We can. Yoink. Is that diamond? It is. Why are we getting diamond here? We're at Y level 32. I guess it's just something with these crystal caves, huh? It's only one block. There we go. Okay, we've got one block of diamond. Well, one piece of diamond. I guess there's something with this crystal cave. Look, there's emeralds and shit. Oh my god, that's a lot of mobs. Just try and be careful. It's the skeletons I'm most worried about. It's mostly zombies and creepers, it looks like. Oh no, there is a skeleton up there. If we just play this play this slowly. We should be able to to get these guys. Try not to get hit by the ones with swords. Yeah, the um the mod packs in the description, my dudes. Okay. Any more? Seems that was most of them. We still have this boy. All right, nice. What's that? Core root. Oh, hello. Bitch. Sit down, motherfucker. We're going up again. I don't like this. We need to be going down. We're not quite at lava level yet. Oh, hello. Wow, this one's got quite a lot of health. <laughs> Why is the Discord not in my description? Because I'm dumb, okay? <laughs> I forgot to put it in there. I, I kind of set it up like right before I started because I remembered I actually had to have a description. Can we take that? What is that? Nightly plate. Ooh. Let's um put that on. We just store some of these in here. So uh, swap this out for that. There we go. Also, gemstone golem. It's gonna f fire lasers at me, right? Quite a lot of mobs down here, huh? We're kind of fighting our way through this. Oh, this one has a ton of health. Holy fuck. What armor is that? <laughs> that armor is crazy. Oh, we've got more. Is there a spawner here? Oh man, I hate I hate skeletons so much. Alright, we're good. Does the stream end if you die? Yeah, basically, yes. <laughs> if I die, the world ends. Like, it, it will be game over. This is hardcore, so... I, I'm gonna try my best not to die. Yeah, this isn't going down. I want I need to sneeze. Oh. <coughs> Sorry about that. Alright, let's try not to mine too much more here because I do want to hold on to the durability. I want to save the durability of the, uh, the pick. Make a cleaver, it's way better than the frying pan. I might do. I've never used a, uh, a cleaver before. 
There's quite a few mobs over here. I mean, the frying pan is pretty fucking good, though, right? Man, they're just they're so good at predicting where you go, man. Let's go this way. Oh, man, this cave is proving to be kind of intense, actually. There's a lot of mobs in here. Look, got more. All right, nice. Looks like we're actually going down. This is good. This is a good sign. Oh. Come on, you bitch. He jump shot me. You see that? <laughs> he fucking jump shot me. What a son of a bitch. Hang on. Got a good idea. Let's stem the tide. There we go. Yeah, that's right, bitches. See that pro gamer move right there with the bucket? See that shit? Fucked him up. All right, we're down to our last prime beef. Uh, we do have some normal steaks and we've got some berries and stuff, but we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with the uh, the stuff. What mod pack is this? Uh, the mod pack's in the description. Uh, it's Enigmatica 2 Expert. You can find a link to it there. All right, looks like we're going down. Ooh, redstone, that's a good sign. We are approaching lava level by the looks of it. What is that? It's a, a blizz. Let's try and get him. Oh, fuck, man. They slow you down. There we go. Drop some snowballs. Oh. Okay, I accidentally pressed a key. Uh, escape, there we go. I feel like we're close to uh, the level we want to be at. You can also lunge backwards with the rapier. Yeah, you can. I believe the rapier is pretty good. Um, oh, I think my uh, headset just cut off. Hang on. I can't hear any sound right now. Are we back? Yeah, I can hear now. Yeah, my headset is like kind of on its last legs. And every now and then it just like disconnects completely. It's weird. I have to like turn it back on. Ooh. Tanzanite. I don't know what you can do with that. I don't think it's very good. If I remember correctly. Uh, I'm looking at the little mini map there. I don't really see much lava here. Hmm. Let's get this lapis while we're here too. Might as well. Lapis is pretty good. Uh, in this mod pack. Okay. Uh... There seems to be a lava lake kind of over this way. If we can get to that. I think it's around this way. Oh, it's a spider jockey. I don't see those very often. Can I yeet him? Jeez. That was dramatic. Holy shit. I just love all the frying pan noises, man. It's great. Actually, let's get some berries. There we go. Let's get a bit more nutrition other than uh, protein, right? Because we're 100% on protein. Alright, let's put our hammer to good use here, why don't we? Uh, actually, it's this way, it looks like, on the minimap. Start from, like, here. We should find this lava. It would be down a little bit, though, wouldn't it? It would be, like, down at, like, level 12. So we'll go down a bit. Hammer is only mining stone because it's copper. It won't mine anything above copper tier. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, what's up, Modgy? I missed the diamonds, really? Where? Are you trolling me? That's not diamonds, that's osmium. Uh, this mod pack is uh, it's called Enigmatica 2 Expert. It's like a it's a pretty intense mod pack. There's like pretty about 300 mods 
in this pack. Did I actually miss diamond? I don't think so. I'm above diamond level. Surprised. Uranium, huh? Ah, lava. Alright, this is good. We can turn some of this into obsidian and mine it. I uh, prefer a bigger one than this, though. I think there's one the way we were going before. Uh, this way, right? Yep. Try and go back to the, the way we were going. To that cave that I can see on the map. This way, right? Ooh. Flux-infused helmet. It's got no charge, though. We'll hold on to it, though. When we get some electricity, we can uh, charge that up and use it. Oh, yeah, you probably thought the osmium was uh, a <laughs> diamond. It is kind of blue. Oh, there's some stonelings over there. Those things, actually, if you can kill them quick enough before they see you, you can get what they're carrying. That one there is carrying something. Let's try and get it quick. There we go. An enderpearl. Take it. I'm not going to complain. I think this uh, this lava lake is very close to us right now. There's diamond. That That is actual diamond. We'll grab that in a second. Man, there's like tons of these stonelings here. Look at them. They're not carrying anything great, though. Alright, let's just grab this diamond, why don't we? How much was that? Wow, well, that was like five. Or six. Really? That was... It must have mined some, like, in the corners, right? The vein miner, um... It does... Yeah, yeah, look, it got, it got some more down here. It, it goes through corners as well. It was actually six diamonds. And this lava lake is over through here, through this wall right here. So let's grab the hammer again. Am I going to turn hardcore mode into episodes or are you going to keep live streaming? Well, I'm probably going to live stream it. Um, maybe I could go through and try and make videos out of it. I don't know though. Um, I've never really been very good at doing that. I've tried in the past with other streams I've done. I'm never really good at turning it into videos. So I'm not actually recording it. So I'd have to take it directly from... Wait, this lava lake is actually above us, you know? Yeah, it's above us. I thought this was like a Y level, like 12, but it's above us. Let's try and get to it. I want to turn it into obsidian and then we'll, uh, we'll be good. It's through this way. Try and be careful while we're using this hammer here. There we go. Found it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. That was not a good time to vein mine. Let's turn it into... Oops. Obsidian. Nice. And then we're going to mine this obsidian. We're going to vein mine it because then we'll get like all of it at once without having to mine it really slowly. I'm not going to PAX. Where is PAX? Anyway, it's in America, right? I'm throw away some of this junk. The zombie heads. We don't need that. Right, let's grab this. So we should only have to do one block and it will just vein mine the rest of it. No, I doubt I would stream Rust, honestly. Maybe one day, but I don't really enjoy streaming it. I find I enjoy playing Rust, not so much streaming it. Um, or sorry, I enjoy recording it as videos, but yeah, streaming it, not so much. Uh, let's grab this lapis and then we'll head up to the surface. I think we're good. We've got some diamonds, we've got uh, a bit of redstone, quite a few other ores and stuff. We've got some in our backpack too, I think. Let's grab this nickel as well. We haven't got any of that. We'll just use the rest of our pickaxe a little bit here and grab a few other bits and pieces. Osmium is always good. Uh, why can't I pick that up? Are we full? And we are completely full, but I guess I'll put the osmium in my backpack because I think we do have more. There we go. More stuff. Alright, tell you what, 
let's try and uh, make our way out. And uh, we'll try and make this obsidian sharpening kit. That's what we need. And we're also going to be going to the nether in a minute, I think. Grab a little bit more nickel, just so we have a little bit of it. Because, yeah, we don't have much. I'm not sure what it's used for, but I know it is used for some stuff. So, might as well have it. When do you want to play Rust? Uh, meanwhile, at the moment, not so much. <laughs> I don't really want to play Rust at the moment, but um, I've still got like a few episodes left of my current wipe that I'm uploading. Um, and then I will be recording some more uh, probably in a week or two, to be honest. And uh, yeah, should be good. I tend to mainly just play Rust when I'm recording it, to be honest, because that keeps it more fun. Because I get burnt out pretty quickly on it otherwise. Uh, this is the way I- am I going the right way? Hang on. I came from... All my torches are on the right. Left. 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 Right. So where the fuck did I come from? Here? Left. Yeah, this way. This is where it comes in handy to always place the torches on the same side because then you can kind of find your way out when you're lost in a cave. What is that on the map? You see that? Something there. It's like a structure or something. It's right through here. What is that? Wow, okay, that's some demonic shit right there. Look at this. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Let's take a look. Why don't we? Hopefully we don't get like jumped by some sort of vile creatures. This is very uh Eh It's a bit of shit. I'll take it though. It's kind of a cool little uh <laughs> structure. I don't know what mod does that. But, uh, hey, not bad. Whatever, return to Fallout 76. Whew. I don't know about that one. Maybe. Maybe when they add NPCs, I'll give it another shot. I don't know, man. I was very disappointed with that game. I think a lot of people were. Uh, right. What is that? You hear that? Okay. I don't know what that is. I've never heard that before in my life. But I'm going to try and get out of here before it finds me. Wherever it is. <laughs> uh, did you hear that? You hear that fucking growling? Is that some sort of werewolf or something? I don't know what that is. Hey, the way out. I hear baby zombies. Be careful. Baby zombies fuck you up. Alright, nice. So let's go make this obsidian sharpening kit. You've angered the beast? I have. Exactly. I hang I actually angered the beast. Whatever beast that was, I don't know what that was. I've never heard that before in my life. Um, so we're going to make a sharpening kit. There we go. And we want to make it out of obsidian. Then we're going to... I made the wrong thing. Oops. I do want that though. Uh, we're not actually going to use this sharpening kit because I don't... I, I think it's easier just to upgrade the tool. I need to like dump some stuff. There we go. Nice. We completed that quest. I'm going to try and put my ores in this box here, I think. Just try and be a little bit organized. Just so I know where things are, you know. Uh, we have a few in our backpack as well. Man, I keep placing torches when I open stuff. Let's put this back here. 
All right, nice. We've actually got a fair amount of ore now. Look at this. We've got about a stack and a half of uh, iron and a few other bits and pieces. We've got over a stack of copper too. It's always good. These things are always very, very necessary. Um, as we start making machines and things, we're going to need a lot of these resources. So, have or will you ever play Ark? Uh, I have played Ark. I've tried it. Not a huge fan of it, though, honestly. I I found it ran like shit. Like, even worse than I'm used to with, like, Rust. <laughs> uh, so, we, yeah, we, we don't, what we want to do is actually get rid of this. We can actually trash this obsidian sharpening kit because I don't want to use it. I just have to make it for the quest. So, there we go. We get a splash potion of fire resistance and flint and steel for that. And we're going to apply... I think we need to repair the tool before we can put the obsidian pick on it. Yeah. We need to repair it real quick with this osmium. Just need one. There we go. Let me put this on here. Durability gets quite low with obsidian, but uh, we're only going to use it just to mine the next tier. And then we'll have a good tool. We'll have a really good tool. When will you start playing Rust again? Well, I don't know, dude. I uploaded it yesterday, so... <laughs> this pick because so i'll turn it this gives it luck if we put lapis on it like it's like fortune basically but uh, i'm not gonna put it on just yet i'm gonna leave it off for the time being um because we're we're, we're not gonna be mining anything that requires fortune at the minute all right what we're gonna do oh, we actually got a bow how do you repair a bow is that you need an anvil for that i might use it we've got a whole bunch of arrows in here. It's still got 101 durability, so yeah, we could use that. Take it with us to the nether, it could come in handy. Um, but we're gonna go. We're gonna build a portal. We need to grab this. And... Where do you want to build it? I'm trying to think of a good spot. Somewhere where I won't be hearing it constantly. I kind of tempt- I'm kind of tempted to go on the other side of the ravine. I want to build a bridge over it eventually, so this will be a good spot for it over here. We'll try and sync it up with our door, like we'll get it on the same kind of plane here, like this. So if we go... I know I don't have to do the corners, but I prefer how it looks when you do the corners. There we go, lovely. All right, nice. Shall we go to the nether? My mic keeps cutting out randomly, does it? My cursor is on screen, by the way. I know my cursor's fucked when I'm in inventory. Um, like, it's kind of off where it's meant to be. Um, but I don't think it's on the screen normally, is it? It shouldn't be. Oh, what's up, Brit? How's it going, bitch? <laughs> Alright, let's try not to die here. This would be bad. After everything, if we just die when we go into the nether, it's gonna suck. Okay, are we good? Alright, we're not on like too precarious ground here. And it looks like there's a nether fortress right there. That's very good. Like, we've got a blaze already shooting us. Wow, nice shot, bro. Let's just mark the portal real quick. So I can find my way back. There we go. I want to kind of go into this nether fortress. Let's use the fire resistance potion. To fight these blazes. Where'd he go? He's under me? Nice. That would be lava. Kind of want to get... Check if there's any boxes in this... Uh, there is a blaze spawner over there. Let's grab some quartz. Why don't we? So we need this, this Ardite. This is very... This is one of the things we need. And there's another block called Cobalt. Oh, we actually completed the quest here, though. Hey, let's get this guy. I want to get a couple blaze rods here. Just so we don't have to come back constantly. If we can just get a few... Ah, this is Cobalt. Here, look. Oh, I vein mined the fucking netherrack by accident. Oops. 
My bad. Still got like a minute of fire resistance. <gasps> oh. Oh, he nearly unlocked me in. Oh my god, I had a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. That was so close. Alright, let's try and get like one or two more blazes here. Just get a couple more blaze rods. Oh, man. It's very dark. It is quite dark here, to be fair. Um, my brightness is mostly up. I can put it up to 100. Um, it's just quite, it's kind of dark in the nether. Oh, man. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was very close. Holy fuck. Can you imagine if that knocked me in? Okay, we've got about 43 seconds. We might be able to get, like, one more blaze. Just want to try and make the most of this fire resistance. Got nothing off those ones. Alright, fuck it. Um, we've got what we came for. We'll get maybe a little bit more cobalt if we can find some. We've got enough Ardite. We only need a little bit. Has this got more ambient sounds? Yeah, there's a mod called Dynamic Surroundings that I've got on this. Um, it changes the footstep sounds and it adds like ambient noises and things. It's quite nice. It's quite a nice mod. Alright. Let us... See if we can find a little bit more cobalt. Some Ardite. Okay, so one thing to note. The zombie pigmen would be... Uh, if I mine near them, they aggro. They will get angry at me and they'll try and kill me. Watch this. So we get this. They should be. No? Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they don't then. Maybe it's only for the other ores, like those ones up there. There's like uh, nether, copper and stuff. I spent 2k on a on a CPU. <laughs> yeah, it's quite an expensive PC. <laughs> yeah, those, those are my specs. Yeah, you got that off uh, Twitter, right? I think I'll post it on there. I think I responded to you actually, Lord Gaiman. What the hell? It's a wraith. Oh! They don't get any knockback. What's that? Soul bead. Another one. Alright, let's get back to the. Jesus. The sounds that they make. Holy fuck. Let's get back to the portal. I think, yeah, why is your stream freezing? It might be a YouTube thing, honestly. I've had a few people say that, but other people have said it's fine. So I think it's just a thing with YouTube streams, maybe. I don't know. Let's try and get in the house real quick. <laughs> there we go. Hey, what's up, Jordan? I love you too, man. <laughs> what's that sound? You hear that? It's like some sort of sparkling. I don't know what that is. Is this some jingling? Alright, they're all dead. What is that sound? Is it under me? I think it's under me somewhere. I don't know what it is. Some sort of jingly thing. The ghosts. Alright, well, uh, what we want to do now is actually cook this cobalt in the smeltery here. A little bit of that. And then we'll do the uh, Ardite as well. Because the next level, and this is the final level we're going to do for now, is Manulian. And that's like the, that's the best level we can get right now. The next level beyond that is quite a bit more difficult. 
Wilsonator gave me mod back when I had more subs than him, and he used to be my fanboy. <laughs> now it's the other way around, you bastard. All right, I have to go now. Enjoy your stream, Wilson. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I'm still a fanboy, all right? I'm still a fanboy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right. Once this is cooked, we can... Uh... Oh, why am I doing this? I don't need to do this. I can just make the next level. I've already got the reward for this one. Let's get a firewood broad axe head. It's quite useful. Yeah, we just go straight to Manulian. We need to make the sharpening kit, though. Eh. Hold up. Let's make a... Sharpening kit cast. Uh, gold. We have to make the sharpening kit, but I'm I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna apply it. I'm just gonna melt it straight back down again because I just want to put the I just want to make a pickaxe head out of Manulian rather than the sharpening kit. The sharpening kit just like increases the mining level of the tool, but it doesn't change any of the properties of the tool. Because uh, with this uh, with Tinker's construct, uh, every material you add has a different property, which uh, changes things about the tool basically. Um, so let's cook that. Yeah, this mod does have uh, that digital storage. It's called Applied Energistics. It's a very, very cool mod. It's quite complicated, but um, I really enjoy that mod. I'm looking forward to getting into that. Hey, Brit, you have a big head, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, the, the jingling is a side effect. You're right. It's a side effect of me going crazy. All right, I'm going to get a Prudentium Excavator head. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to melt it. Because what this, uh, hang on, I'll show you what this does real quick. I'm trying to explain this as best I can. Oh, it's one of these. Look, it's one of these things that's coming through the wall. Hang on, where is he? He's around the back. There he is. I want to kill him. It's really annoying. It's like a really annoying sound. Jingling. All right, so yeah, basically... Uh, can I see it here? Yeah, so, uh, Prudentium. The, uh, property of it is Prosperous, which makes your tool or weapon randomly drop, uh, Prosperity Shards, right? And those are very useful for... There's a mod called Mystical Agriculture. So, Prosperity Shards. These are very hard to get. You can only find them on other planets. Um, but they're used to make... Things like these crafting seeds, right? And these can be used to make seeds that can grow resources. So we can get like wood seeds and grow wood. Um, we can grow ice. We can grow zombies. <laughs> um, nature seeds are very good. Um, that like you can make like loads of carrots and things with those. And then you can upgrade them to tier two, and you get like fire, dyes, pigs, uh, chickens. <laughs> Get as many prosperity shards as we can from our tool is kind of what I want to do. Alright, so we've got the Manulian in there again, so let us cast it. And we're also going to melt this down, because I want to put this on a binding for my tool. So we're going to go and do that real quick. We're going to make a tool binding. And we'll uh, cast this. Yep, there there is other planets. <laughs> There's other planets in this pack. Look, hang on. Uh, if I go <laughs> Prosperity Ore, right? It says, this ore only generates on other planets. You can find it on Kelt 4AB, Uranus. Yep, I know. Everyone laugh. I know, you're all going to laugh at Uranus, but there you go. And Neptune. So, uh, yeah, there's a couple. All the sound cut out, really? Is it back? Came back through? I don't know what's going on. Some Things are cutting out. Things are like... Going a bit weird, I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's come streaming in a high bit rate or something. How is the quality, by the way? Is the quality good? We're just gonna melt this down here, make a cast. There we go. And we're gonna make a prudentium binding for our tool. Might have to repair it real quick. Let's do that real quick while it uh cooks. 
And then we'll put this on here. There we go. 860 durability. That's pretty good. And my headset is like crackling in my ears again. I don't know why. How do you get to those planets? Rockets? Yep. There's a mod called Advanced Rocketry. Look at this. Yeah, you uh, you make rockets with this. <laughs> you literally have to make a rocket and uh, take off to other planets. Warp controller, warp core, space station assembler, um, space station ID chip. Yeah, there's a whole load of shit in this. It's very good quality. Quality is quality. Lovely. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, I don't know, man. If it, if it cuts out, uh, it usually seems like it comes back again, so... Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our pick. And this will give it that prosperous property that we want. Look, there we go. So it adds it to there. Um, so we actually have 945 durability. We could attach a diamond to it. But I'm tempted to try and hold on. Because basically you have a number of modifier slots on your pickaxe. Um, so... You can apply modifiers, right? So we've got five modifier slots on this currently, so we can apply two more. Man, that is annoying me, that thing. I need to find it. Where is it? I can't even hear myself think. It's just jingling in my ear. It's like under my base. This is a really fast shovel. Holy fuck. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know where it is. This way? Oh man, I'm like ruining my... Oh, there it is. Come back, you bastard. Hold up. Next time I see it, that shit is gonna get... Smacked right on the face. You know what? I'm just gonna repair this. You can actually use a cube. Look at this. So we go like this. There we go. Like that. And it just fills it all in. Just fill in this hole here. Uh, okay, whatever. I want to find this thing and kill it. It's really annoying me. It's so loud. Nah, that's not it. I don't think that's it on the map. I think that's something else. I don't think it's hostile by default. I think it... You could be. It could be, though. I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh, It's like a glitched- oh, oh! Oh, this is gonna piss me off, man. I can't hit it. It just, like, comes through and trolls me, man. <laughs> Fucking... I think that is it. You might be right. That little red dot on the map. I'm really into finding it and kill it. It's really annoying me. I'm so wasting my shovel on this. The fuck are you, man? Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this open here. I'm just gonna fill it in with uh, some torches. Oh, this is gonna trigger me so much. This fucking jingling. It, it's just hanging around under my house as well. It's so annoying. Alright, anyway, as I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted. Yeah, so... Each tool can have a number of modifiers, right? And you see it says XP on the tool. It says XP 505 out of 800. Um, when you level up, you actually do get um, more modifier slots, right? But what I want to try and get, there's a modifier called Reinforced. Right, it's this one. So you've made Reinforcement, which is a few things. Dense subsidium plates, gold item casings, gold sheet metal. Um, you get two of them, right? And if you put, I think it's... Two, four, six. I think you put four, or no, I think you put five of them onto your tool. It makes it completely unbreakable. It has no durability. Oh, so the the block thing I'm, that I was doing, I'll show you it. Hang on, let's have a little sleep. Um, yeah, there's a mod called Effortless Building right here, and uh, there's like different modes here you can see. So this one, you can build a cube. So you'd be like this. So I want to build a a cube like that. And it shows the whole thing. You can undo it. It's very useful. It's handy. Handy mod. Hey, man, I'd love to kill it if I could find it. 
This is really hard to find. So yeah, I'm going to try and hold on to this. Maybe not add modifiers until we get uh, reinforced so it's unbreakable. And then we never have to repair it again. Uh, I'm also going to move this pattern chest here. I'm going to turn it into a cast chest. Let's just pop it down here. Put these in here. There we go. Um, so we've got this pick. So we probably want to actually start doing some of these other mods now, right? Bro, I swear it's getting faster as well, like the jingling. It's every two seconds, man. It's just jingling like crazy. It's gonna piss me off. The fuck is it? I really want to find this thing and kill it. Because that's gonna trigger me so hard. Shovel's crazy fast, isn't it? Redstone actually increases the speed of a pickaxe. <gasps> oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh. Oh. You got it? Don't want to talk about that scream. Okay. Don't want to talk about it. That was, uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Classic. Alright, we need to get some food as well. We actually do kind of don't have any. Um... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we need to get some food. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we do have some food somewhere. We've got calamari, right? That's fish. Yeah, we finally got it, man. Finally got that son of a bitch. Let's cook this calamari and eat it. It was fucking me up. Do you see how much like health it made me lose? Oh shit, um, we can make the time in a bottle now. Time in a bottle. So that is a clock, it's a gold and redstone, which we have some of that. Need some lapis, diamonds, uh, glass. So we're going to make this time in a bottle and just keep it on us. Uh, oops. And then we can just go like this. Boom. All right, so basically this, you can see, it's starting to build up seconds. And uh, once we get to 10 seconds, I'll show you what we can do with it. Uh, so if we were cooking something, uh, like a bit of sand, for example. Let's put a little tiny bit of sand in here. Um, what we do, just right click on it. Okay, I think it needs to be more than 10. I think it needs to be 30 seconds, I think it's the first one, actually. All right, so we have 30 seconds. So we right click on this. It slightly speeds it up. And the more time you build up, you can actually apply it about five times. And it speeds it up exponentially. So this furnace would be going like mega fast. Um, so we just keep this on us and let it build up time. And then we can use that time later on to uh, to do things faster, which is going to be nice. We'll just try and use it sparingly so we can build up a fair amount of time in it. It's pretty useful. Uh, this mod pack is called Enigmatica 2 Expert. It's a very, very cool mod pack. I highly recommend playing it. Uh, so what is the next thing? Uh, we've done all of the mining levels here that we wanted to do. We could do the cooking stuff. Um, this isn't too important, though. I'm kind of tempted to start going into one of the actual mods. Uh, we could do industrial craft. Or we could start doing forestry. Or immersive engineering. This one may be useful maybe um or industrial craft I'm kind of tempted to go immersive engineering first to get a few good things out of that so we need to make some coke brick so sandstone bricks and porcelain clay just clay and bone meal so let's go and get some sand i'm gonna try and find a desert or something oh we also want to hit uh slime island don't we so we can travel faster 
You recommend more stuff from the time in the bottom mod? Random things? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of things in that mod, isn't there? Random things. Yeah, look at all these. These are all the, the items from that mod. I don't know everything that, that it does, but there's a lot of useful things, I think. Sound recorder. Luminous powder. Redirector plates. Uh, like, I don't know what half this stuff is. Um, but yeah, I imagine it would be quite useful because the time in the bottle is one of my favorite things. What button is, controls what I'm... What button in the controls or what am I pressing to place blocks fast? Uh, it's uh, a mod called Effortless Building. I'll show you it again. Check this out. So, got some uh, some wood. Let's say I wanted to build a little thing out of wood. I uh, hold down Alt with this mod, and I can say I want to build a cube. I just be like, I don't have enough for this. It's, I don't have enough blocks to do the whole cube, but uh, you get the idea. And uh, yeah, you just pick them all up again. It's pretty useful for building. And yes, I have found the ore excavator button. That was one of the first things I did. Ah, there's a slime island up there. I kind of want to go up to that. Should we get some dirt? I've got loads back in the base, but I can't be a bullet to run back. I really want to go up there and get a slime sling. Uh, I'm just going to turn my headset down a little bit. It's quite loud. Here we go. I think my, my headset like controls its volume by itself. Not really sure why. <laughs> my headset is just like on its last legs at this point. Let's grab some berries so we can eat some food. Hunger is kind of a problem at the moment. We could kill these sheep with the, the pan. Should give us some uh, cooked mutton. One piece, really? Is that it? <laughs> There we go. Got a few bits. So uh, keep us satiated for a little while. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more dirt just so we can... I'm just going to tower up to this island. I would have liked to get um, like an easier way to get up there. What's that over there? Look, there's a graveyard, I think. Let's take a look at this. Uh, if the stream keeps freezing, refresh the page. I've seen a few people saying they've had that problem. Um, I think it's just a thing with YouTube for some reason. Yeah, check this out. We've got a graveyard. With, like, absolutely nothing. It's kind of useless, right? I do want to get this tree. This tree here, this is uh, Menra wood. This is very useful for a, a mod that's in the pack. We'll get the saplings here too. Yeah, this stuff's very useful. Uh, you can make some pretty, pretty cool things with that. So I'm going to hold on to that and we'll grow some mineral trees at some point. It's a mod called uh, Integrated Dynamics. It's pretty useful. Rust. Play Rust. Hey man, I uploaded Rust yesterday. Have some patience. Right? I'm not gonna stream Rust. <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of streaming Rust. I'm a, I, I like playing it and recording it, but yes, uh, streaming it is not. Oh my god, he survived! Hold up. Come back, bitch. Dunk. <laughs> Let's get some more of this. Right, so we're gonna go up to this uh, slime island up here. We're going to get some stuff from here. Because there's something I want that will make me be able to travel very fast. So we need to go up from about here. Should be good. Oh, I'm still on uh, this mode. There we go. No, you can only have one time in a bottle at a time in your inventory. Um, it doesn't count up more than one. Unfortunately. It'd be a bit overpowered if you could have like ten of them. Uh, but honestly, like... Like, we've already got five minutes in it so it's like it, you just keep building up time and uh, you can use it whenever you just want to speed something up I have to get rid of this tower once I'm done because I hate like leaving these things like just ugly <laughs> they're so ugly when you see a big tower of dirt but are we out of dirt we're nearly there do the rest with wood I suppose try not to fall because this would be absolutely lethal to me Okay. You want to get this slime. Get a bunch of it. I'm just going to try and get like all of it, to be honest. Congealed slime.
Did I chunk load my base? No. I do have a mod though that adds this chunk loader right here. Um, so we'll we'll do that. I mean at the moment it's not too useful to chunk load it because if we've, we've got nothing running there at the moment at all really. Um, but once we get like farms and stuff up, uh, we definitely want to chunk load it. So uh, that's a good a good idea. Just grab all of this slime and then we we'll be good to go. I don't want to get back to base. It's getting dark. I'm kind of a pussy. Uh, so what we want to make... Slime boots. It's just wool, slime balls, leather boots, and congealed slime. Might be able to make that. Let's get a crafting table. Can we just upgrade our boots or do they have to be fully repaired? Try and... Slime ball. Try these blue ones. Nice. Alright, these are sick because we don't take full damage with these on. We just bounce. Uh, and we also want this thing called the slime sling. This thing is really, really cool. We're going to need a couple of things for this though first. We need to get a bit of string. So, let's uh, head down. I'd love to jump, but I really want to get rid of this tower here. Hang on, we're going to vein mine it. Watch this. You'll see the bounciness. We'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll vein mine the, <laughs> the dirt here. Woo! <laughs> you see that? We can bounce. We're all good. That's these slime boots right here. They're very, very useful. Woo! -hoo -hoo. It's kind of scary. Oh, shit. Uh, if you crouch while you're doing it, though, you do take full damage. Okay, there's a bunch of mobs down here, so we're going to uh, try and bounce past them. <laughs> try and get back home. Oh shit. Come on, bounce, you bastard. Oh shit, not the water. This is a bad place to be. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Don't test the bounce theory. Don't worry, man. I know what I'm doing. For once. <laughs> Let's try and get home. Wait, should we kill some spiders? We need the uh, the string, right? Look, we can already go quite quite a bit faster with these. It's alright, we're good. This is a good thing about these boots. Oh shit. My frying pan. Should we jump shot him? Hang on. Oh man, it's fucking me up. It's like, he jump shot me! Oh my god, I'm gonna die! <laughs> He's actually jump shotting me, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here! Oh, I think I didn't enchant it bow that one. I think he was doing more damage than usual. Oh, fuck me. Christ. <laughs> I hate skeletons, man. I can't deal with them. Alright. I need to get some string. I really need some. Oh, I know what we could do to get some more string easily. Uh, oh, we've got some... Uh, Mineral belly berries bellies. No, it's berries um, We can put some lapis on this and this will actually give us like luck on the frying pan Look at this You can only put one level of it on there at the moment. We don't have enough lapis for any higher level um, But what we can do with that is now go kill a couple spiders and we should get a little bit more string and then we can make Um the this slime sling here so just nail gun them <laughs> if only let's try, try and kill a spider with the i want to kill it with the pan because that's what we put the uh the luck on i don't really see any right now though get out of here creeper could upgrade the pan to a higher like level material but I don't know. Okay, we've got kind of a few mobs around here. No spiders. I should really upgrade my armor soon, right? Armor is a little bit tricky to make in this pack as well, as far as I know. Hmm. 
Yeah, not really seeing any spiders right now. There's one over there that I can see. Let's try try kill that one. Yeah, I could use more armor, you're right. Preferably before the leather armor breaks, because you need leather armor to upgrade in this pack. So yeah, let's go before we, before we break our armor. Oh no, skeleton and a creeper. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think we can sleep though. <laughs> Make a rocket. Oh, that's, we're way far off the rockets. I've, I've been playing um, this pack like on my own. Well, with, with a friend. And uh, we've been playing it for probably a couple weeks. And uh, we haven't reached rockets yet, so yeah, they're they're quite quite far down the line. Those, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll get there if we don't die. So we, all it takes one death, and that's it. Uh, how much wool do we need, though? We need one bow. We might be able to use this one. I don't know if it needs to be max durability, and we need to use some of these leads. Ah, oh, we might be able to do it if we can just use the bow. We'll we'll be good. Can we make this? Oh, uh, I need those. There we go. So make these leads. Can we make a slime sling? We need more slime balls. Should be good. And we need a congealed block. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Right, so, so I'll show you what this does. It's going to be awesome. Try and avoid that creeper. Okay, let's kill him. Don't blow up my house, please. Alright, there we go. Alright, so check out this. So, combined with the boots... Watch this. <laughs> so, it's very good for getting around. Look at this. You can, like, bounce around, basically. Um, so, it's good for, like, what we want to do right now. Which is, uh, try and find a desert. Try and get a bit of, uh, sandstone and stuff. Preferably. And, um... That should be good. There is a thing we could make, which would make this easier too. It's called Nature's Compass. And you can use this to search for a biome. Let's go make that. Let's go home and we'll make that real quick. Will there be a regular time for this stream in the future? Maybe I'll try and, uh... I'll try and sort of normalize it. Um, because I do want to try and stream this fairly often. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff in this pack. It's going to take quite a lot of uh, time to actually finish it. So I and I do want to actually play through it all. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll try and maybe get like a time for this at some point. As of right now, I don't know exactly when it'll be. Um, but yeah, we'll maybe designate a couple days a week to stream. I'm just going to grow this real quick. Because I want to get some more berries. There we go. Give me them berries, boy. And we're also going to harvest it. These ones don't get harvested because they're different. They're like enriched. They drop these uh, mineral chunks. Let's get a little bit of this just for the, the extra berries. Cause they're, quite, they're quite good, berries. Yeah, whatever. 14 berries I'll do for the time being, right? You transformed your end into a village, replaced everything with grass, and made the pillars into houses. That's a lot of work. But yeah, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Oh yeah, that's a that, that's quite a nice idea. I wonder how that looks. Uh, we have a crafting station on us. We'll maybe keep it on us for the time being. We stole these arrows. We don't have a bow anymore. I used it to craft the the sling. So yeah, we want to make compass. And then we want to make this nature compass with wood and saplings. Uh, which we should have. Little logs. And we'll probably do with these purple slime saplings. Yep, there we go. So, I'll show you what this thing does. Very useful. Uh, can we pre repair the hatchet? Should have some flint somewhere. Flint. That's some. Let's just repair this before we go out, because it's very broken. And we'll uh, dump that back in there. Yeah, I don't know if I'll make videos on the stream. Oh yeah, upgrade the armor. That's also a good idea. I don't need to do that. Um, we'll make iron. 
armor for the time being. Don't believe... I think you need iron armor to make diamond armor. If we wanted to get to diamond, we need to go through the different tiers. Yeah, look, you upgrade a gold helmet. And for that, you need to upgrade an iron helmet. Uh, but we can make some iron armor. If we just get a few... Where's my hammer? Not this hammer, the engineer one. There it is. We need to make plates, you see. Uh, so a bit expensive, but it's five for a cap, right? And then legs is seven. Ah, oh, whatever. I made it a little bit more than seven. Oh, well. Uh, we should be able to upgrade this armor now. Uh, we, we can keep this nightly plate. Can't repair it, though. I don't have the, the stuff. Uh, so how do you make iron armor with that? Just like that. And same with the helmet. There we go. Lovely. So we're all ironed up now. No, you can't make... Uh, so it, because this is an expert pack, recipes have been tweaked. So diamond armor, you have to have a gold helmet. And for that, you need an iron helmet. And for that, you need a leather cap. Um, so yeah, the recipes in this pack are a lot harder than uh, your usual ones. Like look at the recipe for a furnace, for example, right? You need compressed cobblestone, which is nine pieces of cobblestone, N two pieces of normal cobblestone, one piece of coal, and stone gears, which is some wood and cobblestone, and that's just for one furnace. So uh, yeah, you can't you can't make a lot of the normal recipes have been tweaked to be harder, which is it's quite cool. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, and once you get like automation and stuff later on, uh, you can like kind of automate all of that. Uh, so we've got this nature compass. This is gonna be useful because we want to find desert so let's take a little search here let's go for a normal desert there is one two thousand blocks away it's pretty far to be honest i want to go to it though with the slime sling we shouldn't have much trouble it's just going through forests with this is very annoying because trees get in the way and they interrupt your bounce <laughs> i mean we can go from the top of a tree this would be good Close all browser windows and refresh. Oh yeah, yeah. If if you if a stream's lagging for you, just uh, refresh, and uh, it should fix it. I don't believe it's a problem like on the stream end. I think it is just a problem that some people have. Uh, so we're going towards the compass direction, which is facing this way. So we'll keep going. Basically, with this, you have to point at the ground, like in the direction you want to bounce from, and then you just go. I have to try and get past all of this. I should have really brought a bed with me so we can sleep. A bit too late now. We're fairly far from home. This is a dungeon here. Don't really want to go in there right now. There's a lot of cave spiders in those dungeons. Oh my fucking god. Look at the size of that. Jesus Christ. I'm not going up there. I'm going to go around it. Can you fly in this mod? Oh my god. That's a bear. <laughs> yeah, you can eventually. Um, we can't currently, but eventually you can fly. Let's uh, go in here real quick, because I believe we can get a chest from here. Some constellations. Let's grab these. I'm not going to use these right now, but down the down the line we will use them. Put them in my backpack for the time being, maybe. These are good for astral sorcery. And we're going to just bounce our way out of here. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that ice. Look at that mountain. It's crazy. It's a crazy mountain. <gasps> oh, fuck you. It's a good thing I have slime boots, right? Holy shit. <laughs> I, uh, I, I forgot for a second. Oh. Still need to be careful. If I'm crouching, I will still take full damage. Fuck. It's the easiest way to get out of here. There we go. Nice. So we need to keep going this way to try and get to the desert. Under the tower is another one. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a few like little things here and there. Um, they don't have great stuff usually, but it's a few things. I think we do have to kind of go over this mountain here. Look, it's kind of going into the ocean now. Or oh, like this water. There's a meteor over there as well. Holy fuck, this is a huge mountain. <laughs> this is like the biggest mountain I've ever seen in this game. Oh my god. 
still streaming and make this YouTube video? Uh, I said maybe, but probably not. It depends. I'll maybe take a look and see if I can kind of turn it into a video, but um, it might be tricky, honestly. I'd have to like download the whole stream and then try and cut it into something coherent. <laughs> oh, what's up, Naturism? How's it going, man? I don't think you can steal the Collector Crystal from there. I, I think you actually, um, I think you, you, like the ones that you make, you can pick those up. I don't believe you can pick up the natural ones. Check this out. There's going to be some stuff here for us. Huh? <laughs> you stuck there, buddy? There you go. I'll take this bed so I can uh, sleep because it's going to probably be nighttime before we get home. Ooh. Prospector. Antidote charm. That's very good. Auto cure poison and wither. Take a bit of food here too. Why not? I'll take this stuff too. Why not? I'm going to take the furnaces as well. Since, since, like I said, they're very hard to make. I should probably take the, the boxes as well. They're also difficult to make. Sorry, buds. I'm just stealing all your stuff. Oh, there's a gold block in here. Dump this stuff in here like this junk. There we go. And we'll continue our journey. We need to be going kind of over this mountain this way. So let's... Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, we, this mountain is just like really like blocking us. Like, what is that? That was a dead dragon. Check it. Check this out. We can get some uh, bones from here. Yeah, there is um, there's dragons in this mod pack. The uh, we will maybe try and fight or ride at some point. You can ride them, but like you can grow a dragon, and uh, you can ride it, which is pretty cool. Be on the lookout for hot springs in the Alps uh, or high mountains. It's basically water that gives you regen. I did not know that. I'll, I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, okay, that's not loaded yet. <laughs> Give that a second. Okay, there we go. Oh, another forest we have to go through. Uh, let's sleep, actually, real quick. Oh, looks like we have a new member. Welcome... Uh, kin kinsayad, kinsaid, kinsaid. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for joining, dude. Appreciate it. We should have a little sleep. I'm not gonna set our spawn point. I mean, as if setting a spawn point means anything when it's hardcore. Like, if I die, I can't respawn. So, I wonder if there are ways to get extra lives in this. Extra lives. I don't know. Hang on, I think there might be in, um... What does that mean? Look, we've got three hearts here. I think that in this, um... Like, in this pack, I think you do get three lives, and I think you can unlock extra lives at some point. I don't know, though. I don't want to die, just in case. Because, <laughs> uh... I'm still going to try not to die. I might have an extra life. If we do, that'll be great, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know if you do. I think you might just have three lives total. But, yeah, I'm not sure how it works in this pack. We are 600 blocks off from this desert, so we're pretty close. Should be just across this plains. <laughs> I'm, I'm going all the way to this desert just to get a bit of sandstone as well. It's kind of funny. Could have probably just made some, but I'm too lazy to make it, so I'm just going to travel across the world. Totem of Undying. Oh, yeah, that, that is a way of doing it too, isn't it? Oh, that's a cave. I didn't mean to go in there. Yeah, that looks like the desert over there. I can see it. It's a red one. Should be fine. I think red works too. Because we're trying to make this coke brick, which uses sandstone and some uh, bricks. But I just want to get some sandstone anyway, because we'll probably need it in the future. Is this the desert right here? No, it's still 200 blocks of it. I think this is the start of it. Here's a red one, look. What's that? Is that a, uh... Is that an astral temple? Can 
This is an astral temple, I think. It's just buried. Uh, there's not really much point of unburying it, to be honest. They're pretty useful, but... Like, I don't know. I'd rather just go for the ones that aren't under a ton of sand. Alright, nice. So, we should be able to get some sandstone from here. And a bit of... We've got, like, loads of sand in the base. Which we could have just used. It's a hamster. Hey. Look at that. It's tiny. It's one tiny boy. Holy shit, it's fast. Some oil here, too. Oh, there's a village. Let's go check the village. See if there's any useful things. And then we'll get some sandstone and we'll start heading back. There's probably a few useful things in here. It's so satisfying that you're like bee hopping across the world. Yeah, it is very satisfying. Oh my god, look at these. It's garden scythe, that's pretty good. Redstone alloy ingot, uh-huh. Take it. And an air charm, those are good. We've got a prospector already. Vibrant biometric. I'm just going to leave some of that stuff. I don't really need that stuff right now. Let's eat some bread. We do need to try and get our other nutritions up as well. Because if they get too low, you actually get debuffs. Uh, which we don't want. Uh, we can actually put these charms on. This antidote charm. And the air charm. The air charm is very good. Look at this. So what, look at this. I can actually, with this air charm, you can like walk on the air. You're not like, you're not like actually flying. You're walking on the air. And then you can descend again. So it's quite useful for building this one. Uh, we can just turn it off like that. Have I ever considered joining the Hermitcraft server? Uh, not really. I mean, to be honest, I kind of prefer playing this game solo. <laughs> a bit like Rust. I, I, pl I like playing this single player, this game. There's a temple, like a desert temple, like stuck in there. Ah, uh, we want pistons. These are also quite difficult to make in this pack, so. Oh, that's sand. Grabbing them from here is a good idea. We'll grab some food. Oh man, my inventory's like totally full. There's not much uh, space to carry all this stuff. Grab these furnaces and stuff. Need as many of these as we can get, really. Because they're always useful. More food as well. We need as much food as we can get, too. Fruits. I'm going to dump the pork chops and take the apples. Maybe get rid of the dragon skull. I'm not going to use that right now. I think it comes in handy when you actually have a dragon that you want to control. You need a skull to make, like, the, uh, the tools you use. Ooh. Yeah, unless I play with you, Naturism. <laughs> he's like the only person I play with. He's, he's my friend. I, I Believe it or not, I actually have a friend. Just the one. <laughs> oh, shit. He doesn't play Rust, though. I've tried, I tried, I tried playing Rust with him a few times, but he hates it. Ugh. Can you sling yourself while walking on air? I don't believe so. That would be OP as fuck. Oh, yeah. We'll try it from, like, the top of this place that we're at right now. Nothing too fancy in here. Carrots. I'll take those. A few bottles of water and stuff. I'll take the boxes again, too. These are always useful. The more boxes we have, the merrier. I'm going to break out of here. Like the, the burglar I am. Can I sling off air? No. <laughs> Can I sling from here while I'm in the air? Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Uh, I'm a bit slow while I'm in the air though, so I'm going to just bounce my way back here. I think there is some other pistons, like, around the bottom of this building. There's some quicksand. I don't want to go in there. I recommend you get yourself the pineapple ham pizza for nutrition. It gives like 3% in all categories and it's quite easy, easy to make once you have a kitchen set up. What's that? Pineapple... Ham pizza, huh? Cheese, pineapple, tomato, pork, or any meat, or any... Is it any... It's all pork. It has to be pork, like, or bacon or something. Dough and bakeware. Wow, you're right. That's sick. I'm gonna just bookmark that. That's actually, um, pretty useful. Thanks very much for that tip. I will, uh, try and get those. <laughs> Because, yeah, you, you want, like, all your nutrition buffed up to 100%. Let's, um... Let's do the temple, shall we? 
Whoa. Is there a skeleton? You son of a bitch. He's gonna blow it up. Oh. That, <laughs> that could have gone terribly. Oh, that could have been it. That could have literally been the end of us. Let's eat some carrots. Void charm saves you from falling into the void. Climbing gloves. These are really fucking good. Look at these. We're getting some good shit out of here. Hang on. Let's put these on. Climbing gloves. Really, really useful. Void charm. Also really, really useful. Some other stuff. Saddle. Do we want that? Not particularly. Enhanced saddle. Uh, I don't know, man. We have to be quite selective with what we take because our inventory is kind of full. Just dump some of this stuff that I'm not too worried about. Iron boots. We're, we're not going to use these. You need that for our server? Which one? Uh, the, uh... Well, the Void Charm? Oh, this is good. Check this out. We've got another backpack. It's an Ender Sack. You can store stuff in, inside, like, a uh, portable Ender Chest. This is quite useful. So we can store some more stuff. Look at these, these small ingots, or small smingots. <laughs> They're edible. They actually are very good for food. Uh, so we'll just store a bunch of this stuff. Keep the frying pan. Just, uh, yeah, store a bunch of things in here just so that we've got some extra space. Bronze sword. Do we want that? Not really. Ash. Golden apple. I will take that. String. Should we take the string? Yeah. We need string every now and then. The ender. That's a good sword. I'll take that. Might use that as my main weapon. Drill core. Don't know what that is. But I'll take it. Emeralds. Staff of traveling is pretty good, I think. And then B. I've never done the B stuff before. I'd like to try that at some point. So yeah, with these climbing gloves, these are awesome because now look, we can just climb up any surface like it's a ladder, which is very, very handy. Um, and it has quite a lot of durability as well, so we don't have to repair it very often. Yeah, this sword is pretty good, I think. This empowered... Wait, what? No way. Hold shift and right click to teleport or activate a travel anchor. No way! Oh, that's OP as fuck! My sword can- oh shit, I should be careful not to hold shift when I land though. <laughs> we can fly with our sword, look at this! Oh my god. Uh, my game's like freezing on me. <laughs> okay, that's pretty handy. Oh my god. Doesn't have a ton of, uh, ton of power, you have to power these swords. So I don't want to waste it all right now. So we don't have any power generation thing right now. <laughs> Oops. I went through the roof. Ugh. Wait, can I jump higher? Oh no, I, I climbed out. Yeah, I can climb out. Of course. Let's see one of these ingots things. Oh, gives me like tons of stuff. Look at that. How do you make these? Graham crackers. Milk, chocolate, and marshmallow. Huh. It's interesting. It's good to know, I suppose. It gives you a few buffs. I'm just gonna grab these other things. Uh, bread. Yes, please. I'll take that. More bread. Pork chops. I was grabbing all these different types of foods because we're gonna want, like, a ton of food. Might as well, right? And then we'll cut, we'll go get some sandstone. Let's just, uh, sleep in this bed. Welcome to the pizza party, Big Pog. Exactly. Oh, the pizza. Oh, we need the pizza. Yeah, you're right. We do need that pizza on our server. Uh, should I get these bookshelves? Should probably get them right. Try and get an enchanting table. We can enchant our boots. You can't enchant Tinker's tools because you apply the modifiers to them instead. But for things like our slime boots and armor and stuff, we want to enchant that stuff still. Do you think it's worth getting Minecraft if you don't have friends to play with? Absolutely. Um, like I was saying, I usually play this game on my own. Uh, I only play with like one other person every now and then, but I usually play this on my own. So, uh, But I guess it's a preference. If you usually play games with other people and you're not a huge fan of single player, then maybe not. But if, if you like playing single player games, you can absolutely play this game single player. Or yeah, just get yourself a, a Minecraft girlfriend to play with. 
Or just build one. Build build yourself a girlfriend. That'd do, right? Alright. Uh, is this everything, really, from here? I think we've kind of, like, ransacked this village, almost. Let's grab these extra pistons. Because, yeah, pistons are pretty tricky. Look at the recipe for these. You need, um, treated wood, which we can't get yet. You need compressed cobblestone, and you need a plate. Uh, so, like, iron plate or something. So, they're a little bit tricky. Um, they're not too bad once you have, um, the ability to make treated wood. But we don't have that yet, so... Right, so what we want to do is probably just get a whole bunch of uh, sandstone. What's this? What is this? Oh! Do you see that? What the fuck are those? They're like fucking desert spiders. What are they? They're... Those look fucking terrifying. I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't have a shield or anything. How much damage do they do? There's a whole bunch of them, too. They make some horrible sounds. Fuck that. I'm getting out of there. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay. You need the red sand? I don't think I do for coke bricks. I think it's any type of sandstone. Coke bricks. Yeah, look, it's any type of sandstone, except any sandstone. Fuck that. I don't know what those things are. Those, like, desert spiders. There we go. We just vein mined, like, a ton of sandstone. Should be more than more, more than sufficient for our needs. Let's just, uh, dump some of this extra shit. It looks like a huge anus in the ground. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say so. Grab a bit more. There we go. More sandstone. There we go. Never have to come back to a desert ever again. Oh, that'll do. Um, right, should we start heading home? I think I think we're kind of at the point where we can start heading home, to be honest. They're poisonous and hit like a truck. So it's probably a good thing I didn't try and fuck with them, right? I think we probably want a shield before we try and fuck with things like that. I mean, we're okay with poison because we have, we have got an antidote charm. So we won't get poisoned while that's active. Um, I should get some cacti as well, actually, while I'm here. Just because we're going to need some of these in future, probably for dyes. Oh, the bees. The bees. Jesus. What's the girlfriend recipe? Two melons, a jack-o'-lantern, and a few sticks. <laughs> Two melons? <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what mods am I using? I'm using a ton. Uh, it's a mod pack. Look, I'm using all of these mods. So many mods. I don't know how many there are. Literally have no idea how many there are. Huh? Over 200, I know that. Oh yeah, we want to get something from this meteor. There's something we want for when we start getting into uh, applied energistics. It's a mod. We need some stuff from here. We need to just, uh, there's a chest inside of here. Which we need to just dig into to get. There is. Oh, man. Calculation logic and silicon press. We need these. These are very useful. We only need one of each. Um, but they'll come in very handy. Let's grab a little bit more of this stone. <laughs> Stack should do it. There we go. When am I going to craft dank knot? Actually, yeah. I have added that. It was taken out of the pack. Because uh, it wasn't being updated. But it updated the other day. And I added it back to the pack. These are pretty useful, I believe. I've never really used one, but I know what they do. They're really useful. So yeah, we'll maybe craft one when we get back to base. Why don't you play modded Minecraft with the rest of the Yogs, like Lewis and Duncan? Um, hey man, I mean, I'm always down, but, you know, I feel like it's kind of an invite thing, you know? If, if they, if, if I'm wanted on a series, then, um, you know, I'm sure they'll ask me, but... I don't want to, like, try and force myself into any series, you know. But hey, I'm always down. I'm playing the game a lot at the moment, so, you know. Yeah, the Dank Knoll, I'll remember that. Remind me in five minutes when I forget. Because those are, as far as I know, they're very, very useful for storing a lot of blocks in your inventory. 
What's up, Christy27? How's it going? And to everyone else who's just joined as well. Or has been here for a while. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're enjoying me bee hopping across the landscape. <laughs> Uh, let's try and climb up a tree and try and launch ourselves off the top of this. Uh, the mod pack name is called Enigmatica 2 Expert. Uh, you can find the link to it in the description. Oh, there's another meteor there. Maybe we can get the other press. There's like one other press we need. We've got... Hang on. We've got a calculation, logic, and silicone press. What's the other one we want? It's, um... Uh, engineering. We need to get this engineering press. That's the only other one we need. So we'll just check. If we get an engineering press from here, we'll be good to go. We can't really get... Ah, it's a logic press. Damn it. Use your, your ender sword in water? What do you mean? Use ender sword in water? What does that do? It doesn't work in the water. Can't teleport in the water like that. Can use it out of the water. I should probably remember I've got this. <laughs> I should probably just fly home with this. Look at this. Just go really high and then bounce. Over the mountain, look. <laughs> this is great. It's probably gonna run out in a second. Fuck it, this will do. Oh my lord. <laughs> Woo. Okay, that was a... Oh my god, there's an ice dragon. What the fuck? That's a living one, too. Oh, no, don't attack me, ice dragon. Oh, fuck. Let's get out of here. They fuck you up, dragons. You know, the ender sword mixed with the slime boots and stuff is pretty fucking useful, you know? Look at this. We're going well fast now. That's a dead dragon, thank fuck. That's a huge one as well. Oh my god. Wow, that's massive. Do you want to try and get this one? Get the bones and stuff from it? Look at the size of this! This head is bigger than me! Holy fuck! Thank fuck he's dead, huh? Let's get the bones from it. You have to go right in the middle of it like that. Look at that. How many bones did it drop? More than I can carry. Let's throw away these water bottles and stuff that we don't need. We'll grab these bones because bones could be crafted. One bone each was nine normal bones, so dragon bones are pretty useful to get. Um, for like bone meal and shit. Throw these torches as well. All right, that'll do. We'll leave the skull. We could take the skull actually. Stage five. Oh man. <laughs> dragon enable ultra yeet protocol. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what just happened, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to fight a dragon yet, because they, they can fuck you up, man. You need a lot more health, I think, than I have right now. Like, or better armor and stuff. Or just a better weapon that can kill them quicker than I can. Because, uh, yeah, but if we find a dragon egg, we can hatch our own dragon. What did I come back to? Skyrim? Yeah, basically. Hey, do you like my, uh, do you like my, uh, bee hopping skills? It's, uh, my, my old slime sling. This is definitely one of the best investments we made. All right, nice. We made it home. Thank fuck. Didn't die either. Oh, man. All right, nice. So, now we need to, like, find a good place to store all of this. Let's, first of all, try and merge with nearby chests. Oh, yeah, we need to start cooking some clay. We need bricks. So, why don't we start cooking a little bit of clay? We need to get some more coal in these. I think they're quite... Quite empty. Uh, man, we are kind of losing inventory space quite quickly here. It's alright. Got a load of stuff from that trip. That was a very good trip. I'm going to throw away this orange hardened clay. Because we're not going to use that right now. It's one piece. It's a bit useless. Uh, we also want to make... We need porcelain clay, which is clay and bone meal. So we'll make some of that with those dragon bones we just got. Oops. There we go. Nice. 
porcelain clay. So we need some of that. And then we're going to need these bricks as well, which we're currently getting. We could probably use our time in a bottle on these. Maybe. Do we have any more coal? Have I just been, like, ignoring coal that I've been seeing? Oh, no, we've got some here. There we go. Let's get... Let's get a couple stacks of tiny coals so we can just... Make sure these furnaces will run for long enough. So if, uh, if you don't already know, tiny coal is uh, probably more efficient than normal coal. Unless you know the exact amount you're smelting. Tiny coal will only smelt one item and you won't waste any of the fuel. If you run out of stuff to smelt, it won't waste the fuel. So yeah, check this out. If we use our time bot with 46 minutes in it. Check this out. Look at that. <laughs> Making it way faster. And that one too. And we now have 38 minutes. Go again. 30 minutes. Look at that. Crazy quick. And you can go up a few, I think, two more levels. Uh, but we don't really want to go out any more than that, I think. I think this is probably good. So we've got all these bricks. Lovely. Um, so porcelain clay. Yeah, we've got that too. And sandstone. We have that too. So we should be able to make... These coke bricks. We're going to need, I think, 27 of them to make a coke oven, which is what we the main reason we're making these. Can we make 27? Oh, we're just short. We need, like, one more set. We've got the bricks and the sandstone. We just need a tiny bit more porcelain clay. Let's just sleep, sleep real quick, and we'll go get some more clay. And, uh, there we go. We actually completed our quest. The gate for opening up immersive engineering. That's good. Hey, it's got a frying pan. That's a cool looking- oh, that's a witch down there. Ugh. God, I hate witches. We're okay, though. Um, oh, yeah, we've got a sword now, right? How good is this sword? It's alright. Drop some sticks. It's not great, the sword. Oh, it's out of power. That's probably why it's so shit. We need to power it up again. I don't think we can- no, we can't- we can't teleport with it anymore because we used all of our power. So let's grab a little bit more clay. There should be some over here. Can I place a dragon skull as a trophy somewhere? You know, I think I can. Do I still have it? Do they definitely take it? I think I'll put it in a box. Yeah, I believe you can place them in there. And it's the size of the dragon that we found. So it'll be massive. Could be a good idea. We could put it down as like a, a decorative thing, right? That'd be sick. I was like the fifth one to join the stream. I'm still here. Uh, I'm impressed with the fact that I had this much time. <laughs> hey, thanks for sticking around, man. I'm glad you enjoy me uh, bouncing around and stuff. Okay, we've got, we've got enough clay. That should be more than enough. Let's head back to our little house. So we should be good for fall damage now as long as I don't do anything stupid. Like hold shift while I fall. Because then I will take damage. Knowing me, I probably will end up doing that and die. Let's get a few more. I don't think we need too much more porcelain clay. That should probably be enough. We only need like one more coke brick, right? There we go. 27. So, let's first of all grab these things. We get a fluid pump, a portable tank, and 32 iron plates for that. That's our reward for completing that. Oops. And here's the dragon skull. How big is this? Let's see if we pop it down. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it, I wish I could hide, like, the little name tag on it, though. I don't think there's any way to hide it. I mean, we could just hide the name tags in general. What mod are they from? Does anyone know what mod those are from? Hang on, I want to search online real quick. Which mod? Which mod adds name tags to mobs? I don't know. Does anyone know what mob, uh, mod that is? I'd like to turn them off, because then we could put the skull down. I think it looks pretty shit when, uh, you can see the name there like that. Can we make our smeltery bit? Oh, there's blood in it, look. Ugh. That means a mob fell in it and died. <laughs> Don't want to miss the stream. If you left now, you miss a lot of stuff. Well, I think uh, the stream should save onto YouTube. So uh, you should be able to come back and you should be able to watch what you missed. Put it on your house, like on top of it. 
Um, okay, so I think I want to put down this coke oven. I want to build it, like, around here. It's a three by three. So we'll build it, like, next to our smeltery, kind of, maybe? That's a three by three, too. Let me put it, like, put, like, a little gap, like, three, three blocks gap. Let me go for, for here. The mod is called Neat. Really? Neat. Minimalistic functional unit plates for the modern Minecrafter. Blacklist. Can we, um... Add the dragon. I don't know what it's called. The entity. Uh, I, I, I don't mind keeping them on for other things, but just for the skulls, I'd like to turn them off. Oh, I didn't save it. Hang on. It might be called Dragon Skull, actually. Nope. Hang on, let me uh, take a little look. Dragon skull entity name. Does it tell me? <clears throat> I don't know if it'll tell me. It's from a, it's from a mod called Ice and Fire, I think. I don't know the name of the entity. I don't know, to be honest. I might just turn them off if I can. Uh, is there actually a way to turn them all off completely? I don't know. Max distance. If I put like zero, that should turn them off, right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. That works. Unless we're like right inside it like that, then um, that works. We'll probably build like a better house. I mean, we'll upgrade our area somewhat. This is just like a starter house. I kind of want to place it like right in the middle if I can. Let's hang it over the side. Like, we'll get it so it's like hanging over the edge, sort of. <laughs> uh, it's not quite centered, is it? Uh, I want to try and center it a little bit. It's a bit difficult to place it. That's not centered there either. I think it's like... Maybe space in between. I don't think so. Do you know why? Because the other entities that were there didn't have spaces. I don't think we can quite center it. I think that's good enough. It's... Yeah. <laughs> It'll do. We'll maybe get like a designated area for skulls and we can have like a dragon trophy room or something at some point. Uh, we're gonna have to overhang here. So maybe it's coke oven. Why is the progression 1%? I'm hovering over it. Uh, so what we need to do is actually whack this with a hammer, an engineer's hammer. Oh yeah, do you want to see something cool? See this thing we got? This engraved thunder. Look at this, right? That's right, bitch. I am Thor, son of Odin. Right, I'll try this. We'll try, um... Dragon Skull. I'm gonna say I doubt it because... This one, the armor stand, has no space. I think it's the name of the entity itself, maybe. Uh, I mean, I can't see it right now. Let me just turn up the distance to 24 again. If it doesn't work, it doesn't really matter. Nah, look, it's still there. Uh, I don't know the name of the entity, guys. I think we should have to turn it off. It's a bit annoying. Um, I quite like that mod, like the one that shows the health. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we find out the, the name of the... The mob, or well, the entity, then uh, we can try and turn it off, but I don't know the exact name of it. Wait, if I hold shift, does it tell me? No. Dragon Skull. No, it doesn't really tell you. I'm trying to hold shift. Usually shift shows you like the sort of debug names, but no, nah, I don't really see it. Alright, um, you know what we want to probably do is set up like a little farm, but I'm kind of tempted to go for mystical agriculture. There's this, um, this thing called nature essence, right? So you grow nature essence from these nature seeds. A little bit expensive. We can't quite make these right now. Uh, we need some of these prosperity shards, but you can actually craft nature essence into various things. Look at all these. You can make 12 carrots for three of them. Um, you can make eight apples for three of them. 
You can make wheat, I believe, for them as well, and all the different types of saplings. All these sort of nature kind of items you can make using this. Um, so that's very useful. Try Ice Dragon Skull. I'll give that a try. Ice Dragon Skull, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot to turn up the distance again. Oh, that worked. No, it didn't. <laughs> I thought it did for a second. I couldn't see it because of the... You know what? I'm just going to leave it on, honestly. It's not a huge deal. It's so it's only really visible when you're looking at it. Um, and when it's on top of the house, it's not like... I don't really care. <laughs> if we if we find, like, the actual name later on, we can... Alt F3. I don't, I don't know about that one, bud. That sounds like an Alt F4. If I just press F3... However... Oh, you know what? It says it. Dragon Skull. Is it all lowercase? I guess case... This is actually case sensitive. Ah, you see that? Got it, boys. <laughs> nice. Good job. Alright, we, we got it. We, we got the got rid of the tooltip on it. Alright, awesome. Thanks for that. I didn't press alt because I thought that was going to close my game. But, um... Yeah, F F3. And looking at it, like, it shows you... Like, if you look at the entity, it did show it a second ago. But now it doesn't show anymore. <laughs> uh, weird. Oh, no. I, I think it's, I'm not looking quite at the middle of it. I think you have to be looking at right in the middle of it. I don't know. But it showed it before. Alright, so what's the next thing? Oh, yeah, we want to get our engineer's hammer. Is that in here? Or do I store that in the base? It's in here. There we go. So you go like this... And we've got ourselves a coke oven. And this is where we can get some uh, treated... We can make treated wood. Because basically what you do, you put your coal in there. And it turns it into what's called coal coke. Uh, which is used to make steel. But it also produces creosote oil. Um, which is used to make treated wood. Which is used for a lot of recipes. So that's the main reason I want that. And also, you know, it's a quest reward. Uh, we should actually... If we go in here and we start this quest line, the immersive engineering one, we get a free hammer out of it and also a, a guide. And we should, yep, we got a uh, loot box. What we're going to get, fingers crossed for something good. Oh, wow, nice. We've got some andesite. <laughs> wow, it's fucking useless, honestly. Wow. I mean, it's cool, cool texture, though. Look, it's a uh, chiseled one. Look at that. It's like kind of like Nordic, kind of. Well, it says Celtic, but it's quite cool. Um, so what's our next step here then? I suppose let's take a look because I want to go through the immersive engineering stuff at the same time. For coal, of uh, sorry for steel, because steel is kind of a useful thing to get. <sighs> Making it in a blast furnace, which is like the way that we would be doing it using coal coke, is very slow. Uh, from my experience with this mod pack, the best way of making steel is in this alloy furnace right here. Which isn't too difficult to make, honestly. We need to make a copper solenoid. Which requires aluminum aluminium rods. And mixed metal ingots. It requires a few different things, but... Uh, this would be good for steel, and we need power for that as well. So maybe getting power is our first thing. Hmm. Should we get like a windmill for power? Get like wind energy? We're gonna need to get some uh, industrial hemp. Uh, let's get all of our industrial hemp seeds. And we're going to need to make... I think it's the... I think it's the mattock. Yep, the mattock is what we need to make. It's a ham... It's actually an axe and a shovel head. So if we make a... Uh, Get a mattock. It's basically a hoe. It's like a farming tool. Uh, what type do we want to make though? What do we want to make it out of? We can make it out of Certus Quartz. Or we could just um we could cast some stuff. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cast it. We're gonna we're gonna do it from uh Ah uh, shit. Let's get Let's get a couple of casts. We need a axe. 
and a shovel cast. And we'll just make it out of some sort of metal and then it'll last for a while. Yep, I'm still playing. I'm still playing. We'll probably go for like four hours. We'll probably, like, we've been going for about three and a half hours. So we'll probably finish up around sort of, I don't know, four hours, depending on what we're doing at that point. Um, obviously, we'll like try and finish up what we're doing before we finish the stream. But yeah, we'll go for a little longer. Oh, we could get a Prudentium one. That's good. Prudentium, that will give us prosperity shards, like the things we are looking for. Well, the things we want to get if we want to do like some farming stuff. I think we're going to need a tiny bit more gold in here. Man, I see that, the skull on top of the house. I'm like, fuck. I thought it was a natural dragon again for a second. Um, and we want to just cook down one ingot. One gold ingot would be enough here. So we've got the sh shuffle cast. And then we want to do a gold. We want to do an axe cast as well. So you want to get... What type of ore do we want? Oh, sorry, what type of... um? Oh, you know what we want? We want to make a crusher. We want to crush these ores because we can double them, um, basically. Rather than cooking the ores directly, we want to crush them. And then we, get, we can double how much we can get out of them. Uh, so the best one that I've found, which uses no energy, is uh, it's called a small plate presser. We need a piston, which you have six of. Uh, how do you make the small plate presser? It's just piston and some iron, so it's pretty cheap. So you like this. He's on the bottom, actually. There we go. And with this, we need... It's just obsidian, I believe. I think we want a block placer as well. Something that will just auto-place blocks for us. So any dispenser. All right, we can get this. We can get this. Uh, it's just a couple, couple things we need to grab. String, cobblestone. We should have some of that somewhere. Yep. Uh, redstone. So we want to go make a dispenser. And for that, we want to make a block placer, which is a tiny bit of smooth stone too. So we'll just uh, cook that. Could time in a bottle it, I suppose. Bit of a waste, but there you go. Uh, then we can make a block placer. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a simple little crushing setup that will just be used to... Uh... The squeezer from Integrate Dynamics does do a lot. Uh, I agree. I, I really like the squeezer, but I found that this is way faster than the squeezer. I'll show you. Uh, where do we want to put it? Probably want to put it somewhere around here with these other sort of uh, things. Put it, put it, put it like right next to this. We'll get them four, four spaces apart. One, two, three, four. So it'll be like here. We. Be... It's just a little machine we're gonna make here. So we have a block placer, and then we're gonna need a small plate presser. Does this actually automatically face down? It does. It just looks like a piston. Oops, that needs to go there like that. Right, and then we get a piece of obsidian. And then we'll just put some more cobblestone around the sides here. And we'll set this it's always on. So, now for crushing ores, we have a little setup, right? This is this is it. Um, so all we need to do, in fact, we could probably get a hopper underneath there as well. Or a hopper like in front of it that should collect most of the drops. We'll have to probably grab some of them ourselves because they kind of spew out everywhere. But actually, there's a thing called an absorption hopper. How do you make that? Obsidian and Eye of Ender. Oh, I can make that. All right, we're gonna get an absorption hopper. And this, it will uh, will be great. You'll see it. You'll see what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm making like a a mad scientist kind of thing right here. This is my crushing setup that I've got on my uh, my other world that I've been playing with my friend on. And uh, it's fast as fuck, honestly. We never really have to upgrade up past this one. Okay, we need to make a hopper, which is a chest. We have some of those somewhere. We really need to empty out all of this stuff that we've got. Uh, chest, there we go. So a hopper, I believe, is a chest and some iron plates. And with that, we make the absorption hopper. 
which will it vacuums items and XP orbs in a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven area. So it will basically collect everything. And then we'll have it go into a box maybe. Maybe an iron chest would be good. I think you make an iron chest. Like that. Yep. Iron chest has decent amount of space in it. More space than a normal one. So we're just going to do something very simple here. Uh, where we're going to we'll just pop the hopper down on the bottom, I suppose. That would work for now. And we'll set it to up. There we go. Check this out. So. We want a button for this, I believe. We'll get a wooden button and we'll make it into a gold one. Because gold is probably the best button type. We'll eventually put a timer on this so it runs automatically. But for now, uh, we can do it using this. Uh, we need a gold ingot for a gold button. There we go. Gold button. Alright, so check this out, boys. You're going to be impressed by this one, I think. So we pop this on here. And then uh, take those seeds out of there. <laughs> They're not meant to be in there. And we want to put these ores in here. And you see it automatically places it on there. And now what we do is we stand here and we go... Right? And every time you press it, it's crushing ores. And it puts them into the hopper, which goes straight into this chest here. So we can crush down our ores, double them using this. Eventually, we can just have like a redstone clock or something that will automatically press this button or like do the same thing. But for now, this is uh, a really good system for us to get uh, all of our ores crushed. There we go. So we've uh, just done two stacks. Well, we did one stack of iron ore and now it goes up to uh, two stacks. Well, we actually passed two stacks. No, we put, I think we put two. How much did we put in there? I don't know how much we put in. Oh, yeah, we've got a fair amount still coming out of the hopper. All right, let's do... Should we just crush, like, all our ores? Might as well just crush them up, right? And then we'll, we'll be able to cook them. <laughs> wow, yeah, I know, right? Uh, we need some lead. We need to get more lead. We don't have much. Tin, copper. Yeah, kind of... I, I, I kind of come, came up with this via trial and error. I was trying to look for a really quick and cheap way to crush ores and I found this was probably the best way to do it. Oh yeah, we also wanted to uh, do that, right? That cast. Uh, we're just grabbing all of the different ores here. There we go. We can do them all at once, really. Uh, any more ores I'm missing? No, I think that's it. So we'll throw them all in and we'll just uh, crush them one by one. So we just want to throw them all into here. We might not have enough space in the block placer to do all of them. There we go. Okay, that will do for now. <laughs> so then that will just uh, press all of these. The item collector is an instant pickup to a chest. It's much better than the absorption hopper, really. What's it called? Item collector. Which one? This one? It will... Is placed in inventories and it will collect any items in a three block radius around that inventory. Advanced one. Has a configurable range and filter capabilities. Well, there's also a vacuum chest. Only collects items in front of it. Hmm. We could maybe get that. I mean, the absorption hopper does a fairly good job. Well, that, that other item collector one seems alright as well. I'll maybe give it a try. It looks fairly cheap. Do we have another ender pearl? I don't think we do, though. We need another ender pearl, I think. I, I think we only had the one. We used that to make the absorption hopper. How much are we, how much are we doing here? We're doing just tons. Yeah, the gold button also is awesome because it goes as fast as you click it, basically. So you just hold down the, the use button on it and it goes basically until it runs out. Use a switch instead of a button, it'll just run. It won't, unfortunately. Um, a switch will only run it once per, per... Like, if I press it once, it does it. Same would be with a lever. We'd need, like, a redstone clock. You can make those. Uh, but they're a little bit advanced. And this one's a bit shit, to be honest. There's a way, way better one. Um, the best one is the integrated dynamics one. Hang on. The best one I found is this one. You use a redstone reader. Uh, we could probably make this, to be fair. 
Uh, I want to get a squeezer for that, though, I think. Let's just, for now, I'm just going to crash them manually. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, then we'll uh, keep going. Well, we're going to crash them manually, and then eventually we want to get... Is that it? Oh, yeah, we've done it. Nice. Let's do these extra ones we've got. We, we, we eventually want to get it on, like, a redstone timer kind of thing. That will, uh... There we go. <laughs> Look at that. That's all of, our, all of our ores cooked right up. Well, not cooked, but, um... Crushed. So I want to make some more manulian, because I would like to repair my pickaxe soon. And also, I might use that to make this, uh, matic thing we want. So we'll get, like, a little bit more of that. Six. Oops, that's too much. There you go. I wanted to put too much Ardite in there. You can do original redstone clock with two repeaters, yes, but this is way better, trust me. It's, it's way more stable, and it's probably less laggy as well. I think a redstone clock running on two repeaters can be quite, kind of laggy, because it's ticking so fast. Um, whereas this uh, integrated dynamics one is probably better. I need to cook some iron. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more iron, I think. I mean, we probably probably make this. We need an iron block. What else do we need for the squeezer? Two sticks, two planks. Uh, for four sticks, two planks, one ingot. Oh, yeah, we can make this. Just like that. We also need a drying basin. Which is some black dye. Do we have any of that? Yep. And some logs. There we go. Alright, so this... To to make this redstone clock, we need to actually extract... This mineral resin from a squeezer. And, uh... Basically using that, uh, you can... You, you can make, like, various components, like, useful things. Uh, I might make a hopper. Should I make a hopper to, like, take stuff out of this automatically? I might do. Let's just do it. We'll, we'll get a little hopper. Basic one. Uh, for the time being. And for now, might as well just build it, like, in this little gap here. It's going to be, like, two tiny little thing. Oh, no. We probably want two hoppers for this, to be entirely honest with you. Okay, let me get another hopper. I think we need two. You can slow it down with another repeater. I don't want to. I don't want to slow it down. You know, I want it to be as fast as possible. That's the plan. We're, we're gonna get it going as fast as it possibly can. It's gonna shred through stacks and stacks of ores in like two seconds flat. It's gonna be crazy. It's probably not the fastest thing in the world. I want to get some dirt just so I can like flatten this area out a little bit. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, let's go flatten this area just below these machines a little bit. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Probably from back here, right? Like that. And then... we we'll do the rest of it manually, maybe. What does time in a bottle do? It uh, speeds up anything, any kind of machine that you uh, you click on with it. It, it like speeds up the tick rate of it, so it makes it faster. We need to be careful because the absorption hopper is actually gonna. It, it takes anything that drops around it like this. Look, takes it, puts it in the box. So we just have to be careful we don't clog this box up with shit. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. All right, so we're gonna put this uh, squeezer here, drying basin next to it. And we want to have these two hoppers. Uh, one of them needs to be underneath. And the other one could be at the back here. Probably. We could automate this with a... I think it's an armor stand. Uh, it's not... We don't really need to automate it though, to be honest. See, what you do is you put... You put the mineral in here. And you jump on this a few times. Uh, we also probably want another button here. 
to reset it because you have to actually reset it yourself. There you go. So you jump on this a few times, right? And it's, you see that? It fills this up and this will dry and it'll go straight into that hopper down there. It should do. I believe. Yep. There you go. Nice. So we get this bo block of crystallized mineral which is used for various things. So we're just going to do another one. It should automatically, yep, it puts it back in there. So we just jump up and down on it a few times. Fills up. You can kind of automate this by have like an armor stand like bouncing on it, but uh, it's a bit finicky, honestly. We don't need that much of this mineral stuff. We just need a little bit. Tech it. Tech is pretty old now though, isn't it? The tech it pack. Tech it was pretty cool back in the day though. All right, how much we got? We've got probably about four or five blocks coming in here. We don't need, like I said, we don't need that much. Um, I just want to make this this thing. There's two things. There's a redstone writer and a redstone reader, and that should should be sufficient. And maybe we'll get some of these logic cables too. Yeah, these aren't too hard to make, to be entirely honest. They're pretty easy. Variable cards, paper. We need a little bit of paper. Uh, right. Let's go try and find a little, tiny bit of sugar canes then. I think we have a couple in the base. Maybe enough? Let me take a look first. Uh, do we have any sugar canes? I think I did have some at some point, but I'm pretty sure I threw them, like, away. <laughs> uh, maybe they're in here. Yeah, they are. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so we only need a little bit of paper for this. Get, like, eh, nine bits of paper should be more than enough. And uh, we need to make a couple of variable cards, which is this one here. So we get 24 each time for these. So pretty easy. Um, and then we need to make an input and an output transformer. So we need our pistons and some slime. Make a couple sticky pistons. Be perfect. And then we'll make a input controller or a transformer. Make probably two of those. It's just uh, go like that. Uh, if we make another input controller or transformer, like I always call, call it an input controller. I don't know why. And then we'll do two. Well, eight output transformers <laughs> you'll see what i'm doing once uh once once we start doing it probably uh i need to get a couple bits of redstone for this too we have plenty Just trying to get like a redstone clock thing that's gonna do the do it all for us so we don't have to press the button anymore so two blocks of redstone i believe maybe more i think we need three total so you want a redstone reader first, this one, and then a redstone writer. And we probably do need a couple of these uh, logic cables. They're pretty cheap. Just need some sticks. So we just get some sticks. And grab this. A little bit more crystallized mineral for these. You don't need many of them. 12 should be more than enough. So, you don't need an observer for this. You probably could do it with an observer, actually. <sighs> you might be a genius, my friend. Let me try that. If it sends a signal as soon as it detects a block being there, it should be instant, right? Now I'm reading chat. I'm just kind of like, uh, also trying to concentrate when I'm crafting like a difficult recipe. I have to kind of concentrate on it. I do read the chat like as much as I can while still playing the game. Uh, I'm going to try that observer thing because that's actually a pretty good idea. Rather than even making a clock, you might be able to just do it like this. So this just sends a pulse when it um, detects a block, right? If this works, I'm going to be astonished. So if we just uh, uh, probably place it from the side here. So like that, right? And if I place, it, place a block in there, I mean, I can't tell because I just... Great. Uh, let's grab these out of here. I think this might work, you know? Let's see Let's see how quick it is. 
We need some more ores to crush. We're also going to need to just... If we put a redstone piece on top, is that going to send a... Uh, does that actually... Hang on. What's the best way to test this? I want to just see if this um, activates the redstone on top. It doesn't seem to send a signal though. Have I done this wrong? Is it needs oh, it needs to be the other way around, doesn't it? That's the wrong way around. Oops. Oh, we went into the uh, hopper. There we go. That's better, right? Observer, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so does it send it to the one on top? Does oh, no, it doesn't. Fuck. <laughs> um, but we should be able to just do that, right? That should do it. Yeah, that should work. So it, this only crushes if there's a block that it can crush. So let's try this, shall we? This could be a really good idea. If we get like a bit of iron or something and just throw it on there. And if this works, that's fascinating because we don't need to. I've been spending all this time making this shit. <laughs> oh no, it fell down. I got two pieces. I kind of want a little bit more than that just to test this properly. Hang on. Let's um. Just go down here. Grab a little bit of iron or something. We are going to need some more ores and stuff soon. I mean, we've just smelted tons, but. We'll just grab a little bit of stuff and uh, then we'll go and just check if this actually works. Uh, where is it? What am I trying to do? Build? I'm trying to build like an automatic ore crusher. So I just dump my ores in it and then I can just sit back and relax and it will just crush them all for me. And crushing ores duplicates them. Basically, you get double. So that's kind of the idea right now. That's our, our little project that we're working on. All right. I think, you know what, 11 aluminum ore should be sufficient. We don't need that much. I just want to just make sure this works. We'll just slime sling ourselves out of here in a second. This is the wrong way. It's this way. What mod pack is this? This is called Enigmatica 2 Expert. And yeah, there's a link to it in the description if you want to like take a look at it yourself. Uh, oh, shit. Night time. Let's try and. I don't think we can slime sling ourselves all the way out. Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh my god! Hide! Where's my golden apple? I got one, right? What do I do with it? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, nearly all ended there, lads. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Was not ready for that. <laughs> I didn't even have my, my pan or anything at the ready. Fucking creepers, man. Holy shit. Oh, that was very close. Oh. Okay, I think we're good. Can we uh, start traveling out of here? Has no power. Oh, we could just fucking climb the wall, right? I forgot I could do this. <laughs> We've got the climbing gloves. That was hella close, yeah, man. If that creeper had landed any closer to me, I think I would have died. I'm just gonna climb out of here. Eat some more chicken. Make sure we're all stocked up on health. Okay, let's. Sleep. Sleep that off. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. It was all a bad dream. Whew, man. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some ores. So let's test this setup and see if it's any good. I need to obviously fix it up a little bit, but... Are right, you ready? Alright. That is, uh... That's, that actually works perfectly. That's way better than a clock. Uh, is there a way I can do this any better though? Like, so I can make it look a bit nicer up here. I mean, we could just like <laughs> hide it like that. Just wondering if there's a way we can hide the redstone anyway. But 
I don't know. If there's, if there's an easy way to hide the redstone. It's a pretty ugly setup anyway, but um, it, it does what it's meant to do, right? So. All right, I tell you what. I reckon we're going to pre-finish here. We're just about four hours. Well, just about four hours uh, into the stream. And uh, we've done quite a lot, honestly. Uh, we've got ourselves started. We're still doing hardcore. Haven't died yet. Came very close a minute ago, but, uh, you know, we're still going strong. And, uh, yeah, we've got quite quite a few things to sell. We've got the ore crusher. We've got our little uh, blast furnace here. Well, this isn't. This is a coke oven. Uh, we've got our smeltery. We've got, like, a little house with a dragon skull on top of it. And a few other bits and pieces. Uh, so, all in all, I think we're doing pretty good so far. And um, hopefully we can keep this up. I'm going to try and stream it maybe a couple times a week, maybe three times a week. Uh, in, obviously, in between Rust videos, we're still going to do Rust. Uh, we're also going to be doing some Mortal and stuff uh, soon as well, I think. So, yeah, um, should be good. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Been a lot of fun. And uh, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. I really enjoy this mod pack. So, uh, yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed, uh, joined, donated, and whatnot during the stream. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.